Okay. I think we're all set. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. What's up? Hope you're all having just a wonderful day. And uh, let's go ahead and finish this. I don't know why my character still has the default gear. It's a bit weird, but whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Hey Sweden, what's up? Hope you're having a wonderful day, man. And yes, you are first. So, like yesterday, we did uh, level 10 to 40. And we almost got a level. We're like an oomph away from 41. And I was thinking, like, where should I level up next? Right? Like, what's gonna be the most efficient? So, I definitely want to finish up Sholazar real quick here. Mammoth Undertaking is a pretty nice zone. But after that, I think I'm gonna go ahead to Storm Peaks and do the whole Sons of Holder quest line. I think that'll actually be pretty good. That'll also finish up a reputation that I won't have to later. So it's kind of like two birds with one stone, right? In the meantime, yeah, let's explore Ice Count a bit, get some experience as we fly over there and queue up for that RDF. Let's go. We can really get into it like that. Otherwise, I'm gonna pull like 10 mobs and die. Hey, Ivan, cool. Nima, Nekokai, Tommy, how you guys doing? Hope you're all having a wonderful day. It's a little bit late. Ugh, but uh, I woke up with a pretty bad headache. Which isn't a surprise, because we played like 8 hours. So, you know. <laughs> it goes hand in hand. But, um, that's better now. Hey, Mohammed, what's up? When are you reading IceCon again? Uh, Monday. We'll have the subscriber run, and I'll also uh, get into... We're getting so much experience for exploring. This is insane. That was half a bar. Uh, we'll also get into the uh, into the raid, hopefully, on the Balanced Insanity Guild, because I showed up, I didn't get invited, and like I didn't actually try to show up for the second and the third Obi Sanctum, because like I said, I was feeling a bit bad, so I was like, eh. Let's take a quick break, let's relax a little bit, and then at night we'll finish this off, because this needs to be finished right now. Today is the day. Let's go ahead and make some nice mouse overs for these spells. Get some Hand of Sacrifice. That is misspelled. Sacrifice. Oh, it's Blessing, of course. Blessing of Sacrifice. Huh? There we go. We did it! Keeping Sabi, in which level did you end up? Level 40, but exploring a little bit of zone gave us uh, the 41 already. So, we're getting close. Pizza Guild, well, good luck with your future endeavors, but I'll skip. Hey Polygon, what's up? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Shadowlands release tomorrow at 12. I think it releases at midnight. So yeah, like tomorrow, like Monday midnight. Um, I think that's when it comes out in EU. So um, that's also the thing, right? Kind of trying to like build my sleep schedule so I can stream at that point and not really have to get wrecked all too much. So after we finish this, um, yeah, I'll take a nap. And we'll do the subscriber run after that. And yeah, that'll be it. <laughs> That's my daily planning. Where are you? I'm in Sholazar at the moment. Yeah. How messed up is your sleep schedule? Really. Like, it's really messed up at this point. It's not so good, but... It's fine. We'll get through it. Thank you for the sub. I can't pronounce that, but... Thank you, Theo. Appreciate it, man. And yeah. Let's go. Let's finish this character. Now, I know there's a good quest line over here. I have done the dragons yesterday. Got some uh, good amount of experience from that, but... These quests might not be so great. It's been a long time since I've done them. Oh, that Hydra Sputum one sucks. And I need to find, like, a mammoth. There it is. Let's grab this one. Okay, boy. You coming? Mm. No? I think I was out of range. Let's try again. Where are you from? It's 1am here? Yeah, same here, but you know. Ah, there we go. That's better. 
So, let's charge him. Right over there. I don't really want to actually have to fight that, to be honest. Yes. We are just a mammoth. Nothing to worry about. So, yeah. We can get a nice RDF pop. Like, we do have boss boss available to us. That's just really fast. So, that really would be nice. And yeah, this put them... This... It just takes forever, because you don't even... You don't necessarily just kill the Hydras, right? You have to wait for them to poison you. Then you have to use the flask, and then you kill the Hydra. Like, it's it's just a huge mess. It's not so good. Do you think Rattri will be good to PS on Shadowlands? I got no idea, man. I did not look into that at all. Um, We'll see. Like, we'll just have to experience it as we go along. And you know what? There's always going to be, like, balance changes and whatnot. So, I'm not too afraid. Even if it's not so good at the start... It might get good eventually. Like, I'm not so worried about it. What I am worried about, though, is this holy power. Yeah. Nah, I think I got it. Fairly decently figured out. I found a treasure chest. Ooh. Well, let's go. I can say no to that. What server is this? We're on the Ravencrest server at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Always there after university works. Oh man, appreciate it. And yeah, I'm alright. Just uh, 8 hour streams. I don't think I'll do that again. Like, maybe for Shadowlands. But, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It does take a lot out of me. I get wrecked. I don't like getting wrecked. Let's go ahead. Oh. Well, no. That's fine. When I was this early yesterday, I assume, my boy Obi had one ability. Oh yeah, man, we got them fast. And you know what? I actually don't mind the fact we're getting wrecked by something. I actually don't mind the fact that you get the spells as you level up. That's actually super convenient. You know, I was kind of against it, because routing in when you have to level up your spells, when you're leveling, like, uh, on warming, that's actually kind of fun. Like, you have to think about it, right? Like, at which levels do I want to level up my spells? For example, on a Retribution Paladin, I know, or any Paladin, that you get Divine Shield at level 36. So from, like, level 30 to 36, I avoid going to the city. Which means that for 30 and 36, I'll have to go, like, hard in an area, right? I can't make a... I can't, like, pause. So that kind of helps you with, like, setting up a route. <laughs> and it's kind of fun, but, like, the way that they've done it on retail now is that you can just do whatever you want. Like, literally, I went from Borean to Sholazar because Sholazar had a more... Like, an easier-to-access zone. Dragon Blight needs a flying mount, right? Sholazar... Yeah, not really. You can do the first little quests over here without too much of an issue. So that's actually kind of nice. I don't mind that. Feels good. Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I guess this quest isn't all that bad if they just use their ability. Maybe it's a bit slow on warming. As far as I remember, that does feel like the case. Oh well. This is good. Keep using the quest item and we will be done. It's actually gonna lead us to... Oh! It's already available. Maybe it became available after the Mammoth. That has to be the case. Pretty good. What's your favorite place of Ice Town? Well, the map specifically. Uh, probably the Argon Tournament. You can get a bunch of pets there. It's really good. I would suggest you go to Gorgons. I don't know anything about Gorgons. I know everything about Northland. So, like, it's not gonna be efficient for me. Because I simply don't know the way there. Like, sure, you get led through the quests. But simply not knowing what to do in an objective is... You know, it's bothersome, it slows you down. 
you're gonna have to either think about it a bit or you're gonna have to read the quest log on what luck i know exactly what to do i'll take it all right if you watched yesterday's stream you'll remember this dungeon we failed it miserably and i'm sure you know exactly where we failed that if you've done this on uh what luck did you hear about the new rares no i didn't i have a math exam wish me luck you can do it danny it's always going to be the same advice eat like a banana or something before you enter the classroom it really helps okay this man is just doing a very big pull i'm digging it let's go ahead and finish this thing off though four heals He's doing a very big pull. Stun these. Hand of Hindrance. Slow him down a bit. Catch up. Okay, that's good. And Divine Storm. Let's go. Yeah. This is alright. We have a very good tank this time around. I don't think we'll have any issues. But let's keep our cooldowns for that mass pool, regardless. Wrong way, duty. Or maybe he's just pulling them here for reasons. Who knows? A banana before joining an online call? Or anything. Like, the thing is, bananas will stimulate like your body right it will give you like natural sugars and stuff it's kind of like eating uh eating like a like a candy bar but a healthy candy bar yeah like why are we going this way <laughs> like for real i thought this was gonna be like some alternative route that blizzard has made but no it just ends up being nothing surprise surprise chocolate is good too yeah anything sweet will help but I like uh, sticking to the banana, actually. Just because it's a neutral thing, right? You get neutral sugars, uh, healthy things. And, yeah, I don't know. I like that. Let's go ahead and call all the DPS. I have to do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. There is a whole bunch of AoE. We can hide this. Get uh, better vision on the DPS. But yeah, we're doing pretty good. In terms of rotation, it, it feels super smooth. Like I said it yesterday like 8 million times, but it's true. It really does feel super smooth and it's very nice. But then again, we're also playing Botluck. So I'm never gonna dislike it. <laughs> Dark Chocolate is actually very healthy. I guess so, yeah. I usually don't take it. I like the chocolate with peanuts in it. It's my favorite chocolate. Oh boy. Okay. Now there are some quests that we have to do here. Once to use the Drakoru Elixir. Alright, I need mojos for that, but... I can't seem to find mojos. Or maybe I don't need mojos. It doesn't say anything about it when I try to use it. We'll check it. Come back here, Spooder. That poor warrior. What's up with the warrior? He's doing really fine. Like, maybe in terms of deeps, but... Yeah, Fury isn't that great at the moment. I don't know why, but apparently people are kind of upset when they play it. You get the mojos later? Alright, that's good. That's good. We have to do some... Yeah, some with that. We have to like rub his corpse or something. <laughs> yeah, we gotta dip into his remains. Very spicy. Alright, just fight our way up here and camp over here. 
Motlex style, let's do it. Which DPS is really bad? I assumed Warrior was bad. Yeah, yeah, Warrior is considered bad at the moment. Alright. They are actually doing a little bit more damage than they normally would. Like in a regular, like, Voltlek playthrough. I might even have... Maybe it's that curse. Yeah, it's definitely 100% that curse. And I can't get rid of that. Well, I'll have to out-heal that or just, you know, go downstairs. But I want to stay up there. It's a struggle. Alright. Stun these bitches. Finish this boy. Do a Divine Storm. Oh, yes. Let's go. Marksman Hunter seem really good. I got no clue. <laughs> like, I literally didn't look at anything. I'm just gonna play the game. Like, going in as blind as possible. That's what I like. Oh, they're going. Let's get in there. Wait, are we gonna fail the achievement if I let them reach the floor now? Ah, it's whatever. Too late, if that's the case. Yeah, let's dip our cloth inside of him. Beautiful. Now we'll need a tooth and some kind of brazier. We'll find it. Hey, Imata, what's up? Hope you're having a wonderful day, man. You get the mojos from the trolls at the top level. Oh, okay. Yeah, that made sense because like I was killing trolls and I didn't see a single drop. I started to get like a little bit worried. Like did they... Uh, because they did lower most of the drop rates, right? On grey items and white items. You don't get as many anymore. So I figured did they remove it? What kind of design choice is that? I got a bit confused, but... If it's gonna be alright, then that's good. I'm just on light in. Don't even care. Let's go. Also, I have some new kind of passive, which I think it allows me to use a free spell every now and then. Holy Powers ability, uh, chance to make your next Holy Power ability free. Yeah, so I can get like free spells. I don't know how to track it, I should make like a need to know for that. When I see it pop up, I should check, the, I should check out the name, you know. Get that sorted. I remember this dungeon from my Glory of the Hill grind, only Trogo is hard. On Frostborn? Maybe? I don't know, I never really had any issues with the Votlik dungeons. On Frostmourne they were a little bit more challenging, because you take like way more damage than you normally would, you know, in Naxxamas their gear. And you don't have anyone to like hyper carry. But even then, I didn't really struggle anywhere. Not that I remember. So... I don't know man. Are rogues any good at the moment? I think rogues are top DPS there, like currently. I think subtlety is really high up there. I can handle freedom myself while I'm feared. Ah. I can break fear with handle freedom. That is cool. Only works once though. Just checking in before I fell asleep. How's it going? Hey man, I got a bit of a headache right now, but you know, it's fine. We gotta finish this. So I will suffer. For your entertainment and my loot. I didn't get any loot. I got scammed. What do you think about the retail level scaling? The retail level scaling is really good. It feels like a sandbox. And a little bit less like a journey. Like you create your own journey, which, you know, is really efficient. And you can really do it how you want to do it. So it's, I'd say overall it's good. But it does feel less like, oh, I have to save the world. Which is fine, like, who cares about that anyway? Side quest is what it's all about, man. Oh shit, that's um, not a heirloom item. So let's not even worry about that. Hey, Adrian, how are you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope everyone's okay. 
Oh, what a nice guy. Same. Hope you're all doing just fine. There are silos, but it doesn't really matter anymore. That means our warriors now. I don't care about silence. We can still use most of our spells. Feeling like a hero is cliche? Exactly. So you gotta just, you know, do what you wanna do. Part of that is absolutely just, you know, doing your own thing. Dude, I got such a headache. Like, it's actually killing me. I don't know. But I got to finish this! It's fine. It's fine. We'll push through it. Yes. I'm gonna loot them. Get my mojos. And uh, let's go ahead and fight here. What's the best alliance race for a protection paladin? I'd say Draenei, because of that hit rating, you're gonna provide it for your melee group, which is very good. Oh... I assume the fire is up there, near the big boy as well. Yo, who is instantly bringing them down to like 1 HP? What is that? Blood boil? No way, dude. I think they made blood boil a bit stronger than Wotluck. That is insane. Let's see if it happens again. Just pull them all. Go. I want to see that blood boil. Do it. Ah, they're gonna pull them all. That's fine. Oh shit, hold up. Can't reach yet. Still can't dispel magic, it's a bit unfortunate. Okay, let's heal ourselves, help out the healer. And quickly get topped off. And let's see here. Ah. You should check out Unholy DK in duels, it's absolutely crazy. Seems like everything is going well for DK except for Frost. Which is super unfortunate, because I want to play Frost, but it's fine, man. Even if it's not that great, if it's still fun to play, then I'll enjoy it, you know? You just gotta, like... <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Limit your expectations a bit when it comes to these things. Like, whenever I play a character, people always tell me, like, Bruh, it's not doing well. Eh. It'll work out, man. It's fine. Like I said... They're gonna patch things. Oh, that's the wrong button. They're gonna change things eventually as well, and if something is completely broken, it won't be broken for that long, I assume. But two-handed force decay doesn't feel right. There's also that. I want my one-handers, man. I don't feel like a badass. What like Red Paladin is good with strength or armor penetration or agility? It's full-on strength, for sure. Strength is the best thing. So is this the thing? I assume it's gonna be this thing. Alright, that's an upgrade. Land that right there. Maybe some RP? Oh yeah, let's get it. Yeah, you do want 700 agility, that's for sure. And, yeah, like I said, I got, a, like, a massive headache. So if I give half advice, you guys can jump in to help. <laughs> That's completely fine today. Like, ugh, I feel like garbage. But this has to be finished. We have to finish this character. And you know what? We got an entire level already, so... It shouldn't take too long. We'll be fine. Hey, Quartin, what's up? Hope you're having a wonderful day, man. Do your thing, Drakaru. Revelation. Do it. Can I join you when uh, you finish? I'm leveling my tank as well. Uh, sure, we can do one more. If we can get dungeons with quests, I think that's really gonna help us level at this stage. 
I kind of kept some of the dungeons for the late game because I feel I feel like on average you get an entire level in a dungeon, right? So I figured if I get those levels in the late game, they should still be really good. Which covenant are you gonna choose? I haven't seen covenants yet. Straight up, dude. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't know. I heard that there was a furry covenant, so scratch that one off. Also, Lich King. Ooh, he is pissed. I charge you now with the cleansing of Soul Drac Dracoro. Why no ice is he today? Um well there was gonna be Ruby Sanctum. I didn't get invited to the raid, so I was like, uh, I already feel like pretty bad. Failed. Like the headache that I have right now, it was actually much worse a few hours ago. So Succeed. yeah, I figured I should just chill a little bit. And finish the leveling the character in the midnight. So otherwise this was gonna be even more of a struggle. And uh, it's fine. We'll finish this and the call of the day. A uh, Biden Q303, thank you so much for the subscription. I do appreciate that man. Furry Covenant is also the second best one. No! Oh, why is this quest taking so long? This is barely even worth it at this point. I'll just take a self. Wait. Oh no. I hope all I have to do is just click it, but I don't think my thingy worked. Oh no, wait, it's gone though. What? I hope I can just deliver it, I don't know. It should say, ready for tune in. Should be fine. Go for Modraxus, the origin of the Scourge. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Alright, all we had to do was just talk to him, that's good. And we get the epic upgrade, which I was kind of hoping for. There we go. And level 42. I hope we get some kind of fun spell. There's also a few more macros we have to make. Also, did my weapon disappear again? Yeah. Look, my weapon is still gone. I don't know how I did this, but I bugged my character out, and now I just don't have a weapon. I literally just, like, attack with my fists. But it's a, it's a still a sword. Like, you see this? This is so weird. And she's stuck in selfie camera mode. What the hell? My character is just all kinds of... How does this... Blizzard. How does that happen? That is so messed up. Can I join? Uh, yeah, we'll do some more dungeons. Wait, there's my weapon. Okay, good. Maybe it's the selfie camera just doing that. Because every time I mess with the selfie camera, that happens. So, you know, one and one. It's usually two, sometimes. Yeah, if you uh, if you want to hop in, let's see. You can just uh, whisper RBA. A. I got this weird thingy on my name because RB was obviously taken. Uh, I think I can also link my friend tag so we can easily hop in. Let me see if I can find that. Hoppy, tell your friends what you're doing. Perfect. Boxster is an Ulduar! You go, Boxster! So yeah, it's RB21. No, it's RB hashtag 21 811. There we go. So you can easily get in like that. We already got a whisper from Ajish and Ashuna. Ashu. Which is good. <laughs> there we go. Yes, let's go. I only have two more spots, and we do need one healer. We we need a healer. <laughs> That's the point of it. I need a dedicated whisper window, actually. Let's go ahead and make that. 
Because getting these Whisper boxes, it's really not that great. Because they stack up and they just mess it up completely. It's not good. There we go. I should have done that a while ago. <laughs> well, thanks for the kind of quest, I guess, guys. That's good. I'm an idiot. I'm on Horde side. Oh, that's fine. We'll probably level up a Horde character at some point as well. I wanted to do this fight real quickly. It's requested to join your group. How about that? And I think Abu... No, that is... Okay, that's core light. Now we're fine. I'm just, having, I'm just having such a headache. Like, I'm sorry if I keep repeating myself and shit, but, like, my brain at the moment literally doesn't work. Like, I don't know why, but I can't think straight. It just hurts. So, yeah, I'm gonna seem like a mumbling idiot. <laughs> Maybe I am just a mumbling idiot. Who knows? Get up there, you mammoth fuck! I've never done this like this. Like, this just didn't work on Warmain. You just went up and, you know, you just hit her face with your weapon. Do you play for free? No, no, no. I pay for the subscription. Of course. It's retail, man. You gotta pay for that. I think. Or you can farm, um, you can farm gold. Um, we need one healer, but I'm gonna just go ahead and queue us up. Let's see if the vendors are ready, and then we can get started here. Finding people on retail, not a big deal, usually. Unless it's 6am. Can't find much people then. As we found out yesterday. Come back to the private servers? No, we'll still play, like, Warming, don't worry about that. Like, it's not like we're not gonna play Warming because we play retail every now and then. But this, at the moment, has some priority. Like, when I woke up and I... Like, I messed up yesterday by doing an 8-hour stream. Like, I physically, I just can't do that. Like, I'll wake up and I'll have the headache of the century. Like, it's pretty okay right now, but... Like, it's just not a good idea to, like, go for 7-hour streams, basically. Anyway... Retail has some uh, priority at the moment, because Shadowlands is coming out and I need a Paladin as my main character, because that's just how I am. Paladin is main. Alright, come stack up you fucking birds. I gotta finish this fast. Alright, stack up a bit more please. Zap. That doesn't do as much damage as it used to, and that's sad. We got 20 seconds. Let's finish this off real quick. Pick up the loot and go to that dungeon. Oh yeah. Let's go. No, there's no quests here. Fuck. This is the risk. There are quests here, but, uh, correction, I've already done them. So, for me, this is going to be interesting to see how much experience I actually get. So we're at, like, two bars in a little bit. Let's do a full clear and see how much we actually get from it. Can you recommend any useful add-ons for a Holy Paladin? Well, you're gonna need raid frames, you're gonna need need to know to see your beacon of light uptime on your tank. Besides that, being able to see people's health bars... And obviously their debuffs and their missing buffs, it's very important, so poly powers. Omen 3, get, a, get yourself like a trap meter, that'll be good too. And yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I was looking at PvP, MPV of Shemlands, and it's looking pretty good. I've heard good things. Yeah. Like I said, I literally just don't look at um, anything before playing a game. Like, preferably as little as possible. I like going in completely blind. Alright, let's make a need to know. For holy purpose. Or divine purpose. Divine purpose. Color it yellow. Oop. Same exact add on as it was on. Um, 
on warming because it simply just works. PvP is so bursty at the moment, people still complain. Well, it's also really bursty in Wrath of the Lich King. So if they want to make an expansion that is very much like Wrath of the Lich King, I mean, they're doing a good job at it. <laughs> How much do you have to farm for a subscription? I don't know the going rate. I'm not gonna farm it either. Like, I don't like farming. If you've got, like, mad migraines, you gotta... You know, think about how much time you're gonna spend into something. Farming is not something you look uh, into doing, you know, a whole lot of. This is boring. It's literally gonna give me a headache. <laughs> and it takes forever. So, yeah. Why did you stop playing on Falseborn? What happened to the guild there? I stopped playing on Falseborn because, well, not necessarily because the guild uh, disbanded. The guild did disband as well, but... I stopped playing on Falseborn because I played Ulduar. Um, I've done Ulduar at that point, you know, I didn't feel like doing TLC. So progressing even further, it just didn't make much sense. I don't want to do Ice Count Citadel on Falseborn. It's just gonna be annoying to progress through artificially increased, you know, if artificially. Wow, I, I really can't freaking talk this. Oh my head. Um, they're gonna be, you know, percentage HP modified and whatnot. So it's like Lord on difficulty while you're progressing. It just sounds like an absolute chore. I have enough Ice Count Citadel on the Ice Count Realm as well. Oh god. Go ahead and word of glory myself right there. This is a bit of a mess right now. Oh, Jesus, get out of this. Can I just... No. That's not the right lay on hands target, not one bit. Oh, Jesus. I just gotta kill the steward real quick. Stunned. I don't appreciate that. But we can work with this. I think. I think if I can stay alive, we can survive this. I mean, duh, right? But... Oh, Jesus. We do have the healer still, so... But if we let him die, we won't have the healer. I can't CC them any more than this either. Nah, there's no way. We shouldn't have pulled those ads with the boss there as well. And they should have released. They would have probably reached us. That's okay. Uh, last time was last time was between 150k to 180k, depending on the server you play. Oh, for the coins. For the tokens. Yeah, that's good. That's not so bad. How much time does it take to farm 150k in cloth? Oof. Yeah, it's all good, man. Let's go again. Like, half that pack is already dead. So if that... Like, literally, the situation cannot happen to a second time. It's impossible. Half the ads are dead. Ah. Uh, oh my god, dude. It will be fine. My head. Yeah. What level are we? 52. Come on, let's get to 50 already. Mm. That's fine. Are amounts for mobs? Old raids? Yes. Like, you actually get a lot of money just playing the game, right? While I was leveling, I picked... Like, someone gave me 2k gold. I sent over 5k gold from my character as well. And I spent, like... 5k. So I've made, like at least like 1.6k or something by literally just playing the game and doing quests while I was low level, you know? Like you get a lot of gold just actually playing the game, like straight up. It's insane. 
And there's farming guys as well. Yeah, for sure. Alright, killer time. And she is done. It's actually really good, but the heirloom is still leveling with us, I think, maybe. I hope so. It is falling far behind. The heirlooms aren't all that great anymore either. They're not as overwhelming as in Wotluck, I'd say. What do you think about the Paladin Mount for movement speed in combat? I love it. I also love the fact that as a Lightforge Renai, I get like that big bulky bull. Like this thing, oh, it looks so good. Like that's the kind of mammoth you're riding when you're about to fuck some shit up, right? <laughs> get out of my way bitches, AoE damage incoming. And then you realize that all your spells are on cooldown and you're not gonna do anything. Just the life of a paladin. That mage is absolutely going ham. Chain explosion spam. <laughs> uh, can't believe that actually works. Good stuff. What do you think about 4.3.4 private servers? I'm assuming that's Cataclysm. Not really sure what exact patch of Cataclysm that is, but um, I like myself some Cataclysm. Oh. I used to play there for a little bit on uh, Spanish server. Did some stuff there. It was fun. But ultimately, Wotluck, I found that to be more fun. So I went back to Wotluck. But yeah, it was a good experience. I played an Affliction Warlock and uh, I had very good DPS results. It was a good time. I hope I think I break my shield, but I really doubt it. Yeah, I didn't. Well, that's a shame. Should have taunted one of these instead. Like, when this shield explodes, it'll do some damage. So that's good. It's not a lot of damage, actually. First, equal to the amount, to the total amount of damage absorbed. So you actually have to take damage for it to deal damage. Wow, that's interesting. I like it. All right, then Bob, heal ourselves up. I saw you choose the good old and familiar way to level up like me. Yeah, man. Of course, it's just gonna be convenient, and it's fun doing those quests. I got a green item. <laughs> That's much luckier than getting a blue item, I'd say. I think the RNG... F oh no, we didn't see that, dude. It's okay. <laughs> oh, that man just... Well, he did. Use the S4 spell, it's really good. Hmm. All of your cooking guys yesterday it was so easy, to the point where I did it on 5 characters. It is really easy, yeah. And it's very nice as well, because you can do it so easily on so many characters, right? So, next time your guild needs fish feast, and uh, you can absolutely probably place it. And also, what's gonna happen is, um, you're gonna unlook the cooking daily. On all of those characters that you've done it on, right? And that cooking daily, you can get a waterlocked recipe. And that waterlocked recipe is going to net you like 300, 400, maybe like 500 gold. Like I used to sell them for 1k back in the day, but you know, the money wasn't paid. 
So you're gonna get some money from doing the cooking daily, especially the one that's just in Dalaran. Like, you literally just go around, pick up some, like, trees, or like some branches from the floor. You stick a few mustard sticks into that thing, and it's good. And that really helps making some money as well. You can get some achievements. It's overall just a good time. Level faster. Ah, Tim, my head's killing me, man. I wish I could go faster, but I can't even talk. Straight up. I'm struggling with talking, Tim. It's not good. But it's fine. I'm gonna just suffer here while I enjoy the game. Well, it's very masochistic, but, you know, it is what it is. After leveling, go to bed, start streaming at 11.45 so you can stream the Shadowlands patch. We have the subscriber run as well. Oh, come over here, boy. So, we'll have to do the subscriber run too. Which, of course, we will do. Don't worry about that. Burst. If people need to quest, we might need to kill the big boys. I don't know. Do you play classic? No, not at the moment. We will when Burning Crusade comes out for sure. Falling there happens all the time. Why don't they fix it? They, they shouldn't fix that. Them fixing that would be like a huge cock move on their part. They should just be able to tell people, get good and don't fall. Right? Like, it's a very simple mechanic. It's, it's like spacebar. You get it at level 1. I think being able to fall down in places is actually really good. And it's not so hard because you can go... You can go around and just jump off really safely as well, right? So there's nothing for them to fix. And also, it's hilarious when I see uh, Tim fall off and die, like, doing any game he plays ever. Like, literally, that man cannot stay on a freaking platform. If there's a boss fight, and the boss tries to push you off like a ledge or something, you bet your ass that you're gonna see Tim fall off and die, like, 15 times at least. Oh, let's get out of there. Boots! But it's not good. I'm drunk, I'm here watching you, don't know why. It's very funny. Well, good to hear that you're having a good time, man. Enjoy it. How are rogues on retail? I think they're good. Oh, yeah. I think they're really good. I've been doing public private servers instead of retail. Wondering if I should go back to retail? It's up to you, man. I'll play some, some retail for you, so you can judge it. I know you can check some other streamers too, if you've got like a specific class you want to see. There's always going to be one streamer at least. Those are the rules. That's our agenda. But you should be fine. Yeah, we, we're going to have to kill some of them trees. Oh, there are people that didn't loot at all. Alright, that's pulled already. Just get him in. Do a nice big AV pull. There we go. Light's Judgment, ladies and gentlemen. The best ratio in the game. But I'm biased, so who knows really. Tim would never be alive at Kill Jaden on Tomb of Sargas? No, he wouldn't be. If you've ever played Borderlands 2, you got like uh, the Cromorax encounter, where the thing tries to blow you off the platform. Yeah. I've seen him fall off so many times. I stopped counting. It's funny. You'll see big gold changes in Shadowlands because of the multi-boxer ban. Mm. Throw that. I think that's good as well. Warmain should do it as well. Like, multi-boxers are literal 8. They're just not an addition to the game, like straight up. They take away from it. In terms of farming, it's unfair. In terms of like... 
PvP spots. Like, let's say I queue up for a battle count, right? And I'm one of 10 people in Warzone Gulch. But this multi-boxer is 5 out of 10 people. Like, that, that concept just seems stupid. We can go ahead and take damage here. Yeah, let's stand in front of the dragon, actually. If she uses a breath... Nah, she ain't doing it. It's fine. She is not doing it. So yeah, doing a dungeon without the quests... It's like half a level, a little bit more. Let's go again. In the meantime, let's see if we can finish any kind of quest. <laughs> you know... You know, Raifuri sucks GMs in servers. What are you talking about, dude? Raifuri is a GM again. And it's a good time. The more guilds, the better. Like, that's just literally what it is. So it's good. Welcome back, right here. It's good stuff. Warmin should pull some Arthas move and purge the multi-boxers. Yes. Maybe. Like, the thing is, the people that already have the multi-boxer set up, they're gonna feel so cucked, right? Like, they've probably spent coins on the characters. Like, I assume they have, anyway. Like, how are you gonna get... Like, 25 char Twilight skills. Actually, this is how you do it. You farm the gold using the multi-boxers and then sell the gold. That's probably how they did it. But, um... Still, the point remains. Like, they're gonna get cucked hard. That won't be good. Have we done this already as well? No. Good. How are you? Safe I think we've done Utgard, Utgard uh, Keep. So there's three quests. Lovely. And yeah, this is all just kill, kill, pick up some shit. Good stuff. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I want to play with you on Apollo. Well, I'm not gonna play on Apollo. It's times one leveling. It's like I've tried it actually. I got to level 62 and then I just gave up because I got bored. I'm gonna interrupt that real quick. Oh. And that's why I went to like the Spanish server. Because I couldn't stand the times one leveling, it's, it's horrible. That's why I don't mind the level squish. Because it feels so much faster right now. Like leveling on retail. It feels it feels good. Yeah, it's like it's got a nice pace to it. Requests in this dungeon? Yeah, you get an additional one from Sister Subalna. Like you can kill her. Like the thing is, these dungeon quests are to be found, like in in the map somewhere. But on retail, they were just like, eh, fuck it. Just put them all inside of the dungeon for ease of access. Which I'm completely fine with, because it makes leveling in a dungeon more efficient. Interrupt that healing wave. Pull myself up a bit. Let's go for a disc cooldown right here. Come back here. Hand of Hindrance. No, yeah! Now we're playing retail. Oh man, reading is so hard. Like, excuse me if I'm gonna be a bit slower on the reading, but I, ca I just can't do it as fast as normal.
Sigil of Silence. AoE Silence. That is not bad. If I can just like... Get that off. That's good. And down they go. Let's not forget to like, look for silver bars and whatnot. We're gonna need quite a bit of it. And some jade statues. Stuff like that. Yep, there's an untarnished Petrus. Good stuff. Your health is way more important. Hmm. True. Like, if I take it really slow, we should be able to do this. But I can't go on the pace that I'd like to go on. Which is fast as fuck, boy. But yeah, not gonna happen. And it feels bad, but you know, that's life. Stop DPS Hunter. Oh, yeah, I saw the video. Nope, that's mine. Get snake, boy. Actually, there's also a bar there. I'll DPS in a moment, guys. Hold up. I am here now. All me. And yeah, it'll be good. Like, Sholazar has a few quests that we can immediately deliver right now. We just pick up a few eggs, we go back. That should be some fine experience. Of course, I'm the one who's gonna get paralyzed here. I was gonna Divine Storm the shit out of them, but nope. I don't get to have that. That's fine. But yeah, I should be using Wake of Ashes basically on cooldown. It's very strong. Basically allows me to use an additional, like, Templus Verdict, and it's also a Holy Wrath. And Holy Wrath is awesome. <laughs> Telling the hunter to stop DPS. Plot twist! He is the hunter. Yeah. I know, it is funny. It's good stuff. In a good way. But I shouldn't have to say that, right? I think. I hope. Get some big divine storms. Oh, we had light's judgment. Mm, wasted. That would have been big damage. That's okay. We'll use it up here. There's like four mobs. Yep. They don't really enjoy stacking, but it's whatever. Let's just drop it right now. Yeah, boy. That's good. Good damage. Glad you're leveling a Red Paladin. This class is so much fun to watch. It is fun to play as well. Like, it still has the RNG element, right? In the Art of Warpoke. It feels like Red of the Lich King, but more fancy. It's good stuff. Alright, are we missing any things that we can pick up? There's a Jade statue over here on the ledge. Oh, we got that. We still need a bunch of goblets. Where art thou, goblet? We... Yeah, let's just clear that first. And your Divine Storm can also proc a free Divine Storm. If we get this Divine Purpose proc, like... You don't actually spend holy power. Feels good. I feel like with the right RNG, you can do a lot of damage with this. Is it true that Red Repulsion Paladin has a 1? What is a 1? We skip in? I guess we skip in. Yeah, that's fine. I hope we still get the completion bonus, but that shouldn't be an issue. I hope. There's the stuff. 
There's a bar. There's a lot of bars here, actually. Someone is dropping hot fire, if you know what I'm saying. Don't mind me. <laughs> there we go. There's a goblet. I'm just gonna keep stealing all this guy's shit. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> you need this boss or not? Apparently not. Like... I figured because it says that you have to kill him that we have to kill him. But then again, I did freehold yesterday and we skipped the second boss there as well and it wasn't an issue. I got like an entire level from that uh, dungeon. So I don't think it will be an issue. And if we can skip him, that's only good because that, that takes forever. Like, it really does. Well, I got two harpoons. My PC really doesn't like the snow effect. Kinda slows down a bit. Need to kill only the last boss. Killing only last boss benefit slot. Alright. So let's kill only last boss then. I don't have enough harpoons. What a tragedy. Tragedy. It's not good. Is there any stuff here? Oh, there's a golden goblet. Nah, he's got it. Oh, wait, I got it. Or we both got it? Oh, right. It's like personal bound quests, I guess. Oh, that's boring. It's always fun to st steal people's shit right here. It's a good time. Hey, Nitro, what's up? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Right, let's pop some CDs. Let's go. Yeah, Mount can also drop here. That's a good point. Oh shit. Let's not die first. You are a little bit annoying. Also, the new wings is really good looking. I like it. Alright, fight me for a bit. Oh, that whirlwind is a really good time to proc Shield of Vengeance. Aha! So that's how you're gonna have to pocket. it. No mount. Maybe somebody else. I'm assuming that's a count bound. Nope. Nobody got mount. Rip. Oh well. Small chance. How do you compare the new leveling speed to Warmings time 7? Warmings time 7 is still faster. Maybe. Like, the thing is, when I level on time 7, I also have Heirloom Shoulders, Heirloom Chest, Heirloom Ring. So I get like an entire 25% um, additional... Uh, additional um, bonus experience, right? So that time 7 is even crazier. But this is good. Like, this is fast enough. I'd highly suggest you to keep the dungeons for later in like just do your most efficient uh, just do your most efficient quest routes you know that you know at the start and then go for your dungeons because like i said with quests dungeons are so good like they're literally just insane i get lost in warming leveling at times and this is like not streamlined at all like that's the thing you can go wherever you want like, you can start... Like, I went Borean into Sholazar. Like, straight up. Because I could. And it would have... It was more efficient than going to Dragon Blight without a Flying Mount, right? So, it's not streamlined at all. It's very sandboxy. And that's actually really good. I like it. If you wanna do a dungeon, then that's fine. You're gonna get a dungeon that's scaled up to your level. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's just nice. It does feel... It feels different from Wrath of the Lich King. Wrath of the Lich King is very streamlined, right? Like, you can't skip... You can't skip Hellfire Peninsula. You can't skip, like, either Borean Tundra or Howling Fjord. Like, there's a certain route that you have to take. 
Like, there's still a route that you have to take in this, but you can just do whatever you want. Like, you make the route, you decide. And I, I kind of like that, that freedom. Nice. Come try Rito for the first time, this cataclysm will try Nacos. Opa! Congratulations, man. That is hype. Mac hype. Why do you put the minimum donation to one buck? I think YouTube does that. I don't think I've ever said anything like that. Then again, it's been a while since I even looked at that, so... I don't know. Oh, dude, we can Wings and Bubble. How about that? Avengers Wrath in a 0% damage reduction Divine Shield. Beautiful. Completely balanced. Love it. That's really fucking me up. Let's explode my shield because of it. Oh, Bane. Stop, stop, stop. Nice word of glory right there. And there's the hand of protection. Let's go for a light judgment too. Might as well, right? 1.7k on single target. That's not bad. That's still my strongest spell. Alright, Bane, Bane, Bane. B -b -b Bane. Alright, don't LOS me. I'll keep you alive, son. Let's use up that stack of Judgment. Judgment is different now as well. It's like a damage modifier. It's really nice. Alright, no item. That's okay. We're not here for the item anyway. Let's keep the out and in. We can melee now in Blessing of Protection. No need to click it off. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, because I was thinking about making like a cancel hour macro, right? But if I don't have to do that, that is good. Good stuff. Do the heirlooms level up any further than level 39? Because I feel like they've been stuck. Yeah, it requires 1 to 34, so I've been stuck with, like, low gear shit for a while. Oh well. Now I know. Should've taken a look at it a bit earlier, but it's fine. Okay, let's get strong. Replace this. Fine, it's an entire 10 item levels above. Uh... Oh, I look like such a such a Wotlick scrub at the moment. That helmet. <laughs> you need to upgrade them? Yeah. Mm, I don't think I will. I don't know how. <laughs> like that, that's the main issue. Like I really just don't know how to upgrade them, so it's an issue. How much hit cap for Fury while you're uh eight percent, you get three percent from your talents, and potentially one percent from a Draenei. So Either 4% with Ranai or 5% without the Ranai. Sometimes I really feel like Google. Beep boop. Oh god, no. Oh no. There's a single quest here. It is pants. We do need pants. Whatever. First upgrade is 500 gold. I think I have the first upgrade level. Yeah, I'm Heirloom upgrade level 1 out of 4. So I think I did that a little bit. Your favorite? No. This is like my least favorite, man. This is not a good time. How is the start of a boomy rotation? Um, well, if there's a Shadow Priest, you don't worry about Fairy Fire, but if there is no Shadow Priest, then you use Fairy Fire. Uh, with Fairy Fire up, you just apply one Wrath, like start casting the Wrath while the Wrath is flying to the boss. 
you use a Moonfire. And if your gods of RNG are with you, then um, you're going to get Lunar Punk off the first Wrath, right? And then immediately start pumping Starfires. Best case scenario, first Wrath gives you Lunar. And both your Trinkets Punk with your first Wrath as well. That's best case scenario. But if that's not the case, then just keep using Wrath until you get your Starfire. Like, usually you'll get it around like 5 rats or something. It's not so bad. Pacified. Oh, that sucks. Like, keep Moonfire up. And, um... If you have to move, you can Insect Swarm as well. I know... ALB... Like, I don't know about the Streamlabs uh, settings right now. I'm sorry, dude. My, my brain is literally already fried from looking at a screen at the moment. So I don't know about that. Let's go for some more Ashes. I have been ignoring that spell for a while again. Also, let's go for an Attribution Aura. Let's see if uh, I can benefit from one of my friends dying. That'd be great. Do you remember Raffi Taffy? Do I remember? Dude, I even remember your YouTube name, you noob. How you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day, man. That's crazy. It's been a while, huh? Gonna use the uh, Starfall in the Lunar Phase. You use your Starfall when your Trinkets pop. That's when you pop your Starfall. And if your Trinkets don't walk like, within the first 10 seconds, just go ahead and pop Starfall anyway. But best case scenario... Yeah, you pop it like, with your Trinkets. What do you think about the game? It's a good game, Toady. My head is just absolutely killing me, so <laughs> that doesn't help. But it's a good game, yeah. Honestly, like a lot of people are like... Upset about BFA, not necessarily the pre-patch. So, you know, there's still, like, some... I feel like people still think, like, hey, it sucks, right? But I don't think it ever sucked because of the classes, necessarily. Like, they're fun to play. Most of them, like, I don't... I, I liked Frost Decay and I like Paladin. I'm not sure about Boomkin. I wanna like it. But I'm not sure about it. And it's a strange place to be in. I should see now what I'm preparing for Shadowlands too. If we need to speed up leveling, I can boost for a bit. No, that's fine. Like, I'll finish this... Uh, ...today, and then go to bed, because my head's killing me. <laughs> but that's okay. I will go ahead and finish this, and then... ...I'll uh, just take a break. Then we'll have to... Uh, ...align subscriber run. That's... ...on my mind right now. But it's been going decently fast. Like, how long have it been going? Like, barely an hour? And we've gotten two or three levels. One of those dungeons that we got also didn't have any quests in it. So that was really unfortunate. It really cuts away the experience a bit. And, of course, there's all the quests that we have to deliver. Pick up a few eggs. And then there's, like, four or five quests over there. Which should be a fine amount of XP. Oops. Maybe we can do the achievement. If nobody has, like, any AoE going on. I Consecrate won't kill it. Consecrate is absolute garbage. Like, it does nothing. There's a lot of stuff going on here in retail. In Warmane? No, not so much. <laughs> Alright. We didn't get any achievement, but... 
I, I don't even know the exact achievement there. I think it's something with the ads that spawn, but I didn't see any ads spawning necessarily, so... Uh, it's, it's fine. Are those lamps part of a quest? Oh, these activation crystals. I'll show you what they do. Like, when the wave spawns, you can immediately nuke it. If you're getting overwhelmed, you can use these crystals, basically. Oh, immediately. There we go. That's basically what they do. They're a one-time use. There's, I think, like, five around them in the map. Like, I know four. Like, one, two, three, four, five. So there's five switches. Usually, what you'll do is you'll just save them for the last five portals. And then just, you know, quickly finish the last five. That's good. Which achievement are you talking about? I'd have to look it up real quick. Just, uh... Uh... Dungeon... Nothing to press. Very annoying. It's somewhere in here. It's like voidless... Void dance. Without killing any void sentries. So basically what you do is you just one shot him and you get the achievement. <laughs> right? <laughs> you don't even have to worry about that. Like I think. Maybe you can't even get that when you're in time sync. Or like in this time thingy, right? With Chromie. Don't even remember using those. Or don't ever remember using them. You do have them in Votluck, but they're not outlined like this. So they're kind of like hard to see. They kind of blend in with the texture. You just think like, hey, that's a torch. You don't click it. Because it does look very Kirin Torish, right? So I can see why you never saw them. I did all the violet old achievements yesterday in Godluck. It's easy. Alright, Mr. Confidence. Now they, they aren't hard. Especially on retail. Because you're very overpowered, right? You're like five expansions ahead of this shit or something. If not six. Maybe even seven at Shadowlands. We go from 3.3.5 to like 10. So yeah, you're a few expansions ahead. You just go in here, all by yourself, you one-shot the thing, and you get the achievement. That's how it is. Probably? We'll see when I start farming achievements on this character. When do I, when do I use Insect Swarm? When you're moving, or when you're gonna go into the Wrath phase. But Obi, don't use Insect! Shut the fuck up. Okay. Like... I feel like you're trying to trigger me, like, you're leading me into a very specific set of questions here and answers. And I know what you're gonna say, and I don't feel like dealing with it today. So... No, not gonna deal with it, dude. I literally don't have the brain for it right now. I'm not gonna be bothered. This was even cancelled on Legion. Did you have Violet Hold Dungeon, especially for Legion, like a different kind of Violet Hold? Because that's a terrible concept. Take a terrible instance and then rework it. <sighs> Just let it die. And forget about it. That's what I'd say. Good. I wish I could dispel this guy. Earth Shield is doing a lot for him. Oh, that was the fastest fluke chain heal. All right, that's number two. We've got four of these switches left, so we can just start spamming switches. Honestly. 
I'll get this one. It's literally the same dungeon in Legion, just updated graphics. It's faster. That's good. If you play BFA, your character will transfer to Shadowlands? Yeah, basically that. Oh, it doesn't kill it. What a shame. Like, literally, that's actually so annoying. I guess uh, they do take massive damage, but the smaller, like the smaller dudes, the ones that come in packs, they do get one shot. So it's a good time. Alright, Dango, you got this, man! Oh yeah, here comes Dango's big burst. It's gonna be like 30k HP damage, I think. Not even. <laughs> Pathetic. It does help out though. That's what matters. The analyst shows what debuffs you have on. Um, I don't use a debuff tracker at the moment. At all, actually. The buffs that I have on me to know, this is only divine purpose. Mixed Calling Battle Text also shows like all of the uh, stuff that's going on, right? Like full holy power, all that stuff. That's all from Mixed Calling Battle Text. It's very useful combat text for sure. Alright, anyway, let's go ahead and see what's up here. More small boys! Do we have a new king? Yes, we do. It's gonna maintain my holy power. I would need something like that when to use dots again like a tracker. Yeah. That's neat to know. I think we're fresh out, so Rip! We're gonna have to clap these. That Divine Purpose proc just gave me a Divine Purpose proc. That is beautiful. So with the right kind of RNG, you can go absolutely crazy. Of course, the chances of that happening, it's small. It's only 20%, so it's like a 1 in 5 that it's gonna proc once. And then it's like... More complicated math to get it to proc twice. And who needs that complicated math, man? Apparently there's like extra loot at the end. Let's take a look at what that's all about. Use the ashes. It's 900 damage. That's not bad. That's more than a Templar's verdict. Oh, well, not when it crits, but you know. I should really be using that Shield of Vengeance a lot earlier. I don't know when to use it on a fight, I think I'll just pop it right at the start. But then again, it is a decent defensive, you can easily eat up a hit or two with it. Alright. Level 44. Good stuff. Flash 44 though, like literally just barely 44. That's fine. West right here. Let's get it. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, where is the extra loot? Oh, it's a giant chest, but I can't click it. I can't click it. There's like literally nothing to. Oh, it's a giant. Wow. <laughs> it's a chest in a chest. It's a tiny chest. That's cute. Alright, Violet Holt, you have gotten redemption. The chest chest is funny. <laughs> Let's see if they want to do a few more, because I am definitely like looking to do a few more. Questing while my mind is melting. Eh, I'd rather just... 
Fast buttons. Honestly. Major skills of portal direct. True. This dragon is the only one in red that doesn't have a tail swipe or cleave. Uh, no. That's not true. There's also Spine Stalker and Rhyme Fang. Um, one of the dragons before Sindragosa, he doesn't have a tail swipe either. But I guess that's not technically a boss, more like a mini boss. Like a stopgap. Alright. Alright, someone needs two minutes, that's fine. You can take all the minutes you need. I'll run back and deliver my quests. It is a good time. Molly got in the tail swipe? True. You know, I think that's so weird. Like, Molly goes out of all the dragons. Should absolutely have a tail swipe. He's big, right? Proto Drakes, I can understand that. Like, they got a tiny, like, botched tail. Like a, like a gold deficiency or something. Like it's it's not the tail that you can swipe with all that hard. But Mali goes. That's a mighty big dragon. It's the simple fact of him like moving his muscle around should be an attack to anything that's smaller than him. But here we are, discussing it. <laughs> what can I do for you? All right. Yeah, we can we can take that. Get some strength in there as well. Ah, epic upgrade actually. Uh, very nice. There's also an achievement, or achievement progress. Snows of Northrend, that's actually an achievement. Good stuff. Won't have to do that in our farming sessions later on. Which server is this? This is Ravencrest. It's the retail server. Okay, now that that's done, let's go back to Freya. We can start the Oracle's quest line. But there's a lot of stuff that we should have, honestly, like, I should have leveled completely differently. I should have been focused on reputations. Oracles uh, should have been one of the things. Sons of Hodir, I should have already done that. I can still do that. Yeah, I think I'll do, like, the Sons of Hodir, but I want to do Oracles first. Green Proto Drake. I am gonna get it on retail. Took me four years on Warmain. Can't be that bad on retail, right? I refuse to believe so. <laughs> Maligos Big Dragon. Deathwing laughs in the corner. Well, relatively to a human. Maligos is still big. Alright, like, oh shit, oops. Like, that's the whole point I'm trying to make. Like, if you're trying to fight this thing in real life, this dragon, like literally this Icebound Force Boot Vanquisher, and you're standing in this water that's in front of me, if my dragon does this, you should absolutely get fucked over. Like, the way the body is shaped, there should be, like, some serious force behind that, right? I'd assume. Alright, let's do this horrible escort quest. I usually never do the Oracle quest chain when I'm trying to level in Sholazar, simply because of this escort quest. It takes too long. I don't like it. One bit. Hey, Olfan, how you doing? You're having a wonderful day, man. The event levels you till 6 in 2 minutes. Uh huh. How many eggs in 4 years? Pretty much... Does it follow me or do I need to talk to it? Pretty much, I, I got like an egg every single week. Like I specifically logged in weekly to get the egg at some point. Like even when I wasn't playing full time, right? So there was a lot of eggs. And not a whole lot of Koto Drakes. Let's go there. Right there. You don't have to go all the way around. 
It is unnecessary, Mr. Injured Rain Speaker. Oh boy. Where are you from? Straight out of Holland. I gotta go. Alright, Tommy. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. On retail, it's like 5% for the Drake. That's not bad. I think on Wotluck you had to deal with like a percent or two, maybe. That is groovy. Oh yeah. That is loud now. Eh. Nah, it's fine. Okay. There it is. The mysterious egg will need to be revered. Oh, I won't even be revered straight off the bat. But we can absolutely drink one of these. Get some movement speed. That's really good. Alright, Emperor Cobras. Anything else? Shiny treasures. Ah, oh, I don't like this quest. But I do see a shiny treasure. I think. Yeah, it's right here. Or not. It's just a flickering. Alright. Let's do another Q. Go. Holland? No, 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 Holland. The Dutch land. The, the people that sailed ships. Those people. East Indian Trading Company. All that good stuff. That's me. All me. I miss my Warlock on retail. Warlocks are also gonna do very good um, in the Shadowlands. Like right now, I think they're one of the top DPS classes. Theodore, Tudor, thank you so much for the sub. Do appreciate that, man. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, you, you need this fucking guy to dig it up. It's horrible. Like, I don't like this quest at all. That's why I usually skip it, but we gotta get the reputation anyway, so... Let's do it. Let's suffer. Where's that fox takes back? Oh no. Like literally, oh no. Oh, where is it? Ah. Hmm. I, I can't find it. I feel like I don't have it. Uh, I fucking hate these Oracle quests. It's so terrible. You were like 12 yesterday? Yes. Oh, they didn't give me the bag. I legit, I didn't have it. Like, I don't think I deleted it. There's no way, dude. There's no way. What? Ugh, this quest is AIDS. And now it despawns him. Okay. Ah, oh, dig this shit up already. Go. Hola, senor. That's a very transmog. A very nice transmog indeed. Nederland, I play Total War Empires for your country. Yes! Oh no, this is not the good RNG. We need dungeons with quests. This is not a quest and this dungeon is ass. Literally the exact opposite of what we need to have happen. Maybe we can at least activate Chromie. No, that's selfish for other people that haven't done the quest yet. Yeah, I, I can't. 
Like, you gotta do the quest part. Otherwise, you're just an asshole. Well. Let's suffer. Am I the only one who likes calling a stratum? I don't mind it for RDF reasons, but I don't like it for experience reasons. Like, this is gonna suck. Those zombies give like 5 experience, and there's like a million of them. And the actual mobs that you kill, it's not that many packs. You're just running back and forth the entire time. But at least the soundtrack is pretty lit. So that's the thing. That is definitely a thing. Mm -mm. Do you suggest playing Shadowlands? Oh, yeah. How do you get that mount? You do the Glory to the Ice Count Raider 10 men. Or 25, I think this is the 25 version. Alright, in before Arthos. Oh, actually, yeah, we're human now. Let's explore what's in the water. Maybe switch call me time to Burning Crusade? Yeah, honestly, I thought about that. That's not a bad um, tactic. I think if you really want to speed it up, you do like you, you do it like that. You switch up the call me timeline uh, jumpy thingy, and you get a majority of the dungeons with quests done, and then you do that for every single expansion. I was actually thinking about that, but um, eh, I don't know if I'll do it here. Like, I kind of want to do the Sons of Hodir quest chain, like legit. If I can level up while doing something that I'm eventually gonna have to grind anyway, that's good. That being said though, I can't just ditch, right? So we're gonna have to stick this through. Or uh, just uh, see this through. And we'll take it from there. Yeah. I just got Mimiron's head today. Hoppa! Congratulations, dude! I don't get that kind of luck in retail. Not yet. I have tried farming Invincible a few times, but... <laughs> Invincible on retail. That's just a good joke. Alright, dude. I saw that they nerfed the warriors and the paladin in the expansion. Well, you can't really nerf that unless you remove Leon Hands and Blessing of Sanctuary, um, Blessing of Sacrifice. As long as they have their utility, they'll be fine. I'm sure. Oh, no, no, I can't use them here. Why not? Literally, that's so weird. Blood Elf Mage Priest? How about that? They may look fine now, but it's just a matter of time before they turn into the what? undead. This is such a bad Warcraft 3 army. Like literally. You know how you make a Warcraft 3 army? You go full dwarf and rival man. You get a few mortars in there, but that's it. You use your hero to tank everything, and that's how you wanna go about it. Like just micro individual units. Keep them alive with holy light, especially against the AI that works so well. You don't have to grind the reputation for Sons of Odair. There's gonna be an event in a few weeks. What luck time walking? You can buy reputation tokens for all the reputations in what luck. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna take advantage of that. Like the thing is, the Sons of Odair quest chain is also really good because there's a lot of quests in a very small area, right? So, that's also good. You basically pick up a quest, deliver it, pick up it, deliver, pick up, deliver, and, and sometimes you do like two quests at once. It's just really efficient. Like, it's kind of the same logic 
that I applied when I was looking for a decent questing route. You know, through Borean, through um, Cholazar. It's just nice. This is the same setup as in Mount Hyjal. Yeah, true. It's a very alliance-y setup. My sword bugged again. Once again, it's just completely disappeared from my character. But why? It's so weird. Also, we need to upgrade that. Oh wait, there's a transmog thingy. Ah! Ah, stop it! Stop the transmog machine! No, I think I got him. That is... Nope. Where is... Oh, damn it. Do you use a burst macro for feeling while you're in Wodluck? No. No. Never used any kind of macro like that. That's just, um... It's not good. Like, even if you make a macro that's like, cast that wish, cast... Oh, jeez, my head. Cast that wish, cast... Oh, jeez, what's the fucking thing called? Recklessness. It's only gonna show you the cooldown of Death Wish, right? So if you accidentally don't get Recklessness off as well, and they're both on global cooldown, so it's really gonna be hard to see if you, you know, got both of them, you're gonna have to pay attention to, did I actually press it twice? And I don't think their cooldowns are the exact same either. So, Burst Macros, just don't do, just don't use them for a while here. They're not gonna be helping you out. Do you like the Shadow Dance experience still now? Well, it's still BFA, but the leveling? Yeah, the leveling is good. But then again, when I played Mr. Pandaria, I also enjoyed the leveling. And that's about when <laughs> my enjoying of it stopped. Right now, this has to be finished at level 50. Then we can worry about Shadowlands or anything, you know. Um, that'll, be, that'll be fine. Do they even give any XP? No. Great. But yeah, Shadowlands is coming out. So you got like a whole bunch of content that's incoming. So I don't have to worry about BFA endgame content. And BFA endgame content, I didn't enjoy it all too much. Like I gotta say. This is very loud. There we go. A BFA end con end end game content was honestly a, a little bit disappointing. Very grindy. Not that fun. And like when I'm saying very grindy, I mean very grindy. Like straight up farming the essence or the cloak level. You had to get currency to enter a specific vision. And in the vision, you had to, like, farm bosses. <sighs> it, it, it just wasn't an appealing system to me. And BFA equals Blizzard failed again. Oof. That's a good one. Here shows your characters. Oh, I got a Frosty K, a Balanced Druid, and a Rat. Um, this one will be at 50. The Druid already is 50. Frosty K is 50 as well. The gear on them is nothing special. Like, I got some Mythics done on the Frost Decay, but honestly, I didn't really enjoy Mythics all that much. Like, sure, it's a fun challenge, but to dedicate, like, your entire playtime to it, it's, it's fucking stupid. It's, they're not that fun, in my opinion. Like, for real, after, like, a few of them, I just get triggered by the amount of meticulous movement is needed for most of those Mythics. Like, look at this. We pull one set of group, uh, one group of ads, I literally, like, this, this headache is, is murdering me, but anyway, I'm not gonna keep saying that. You're just gonna have to deal with it, as I'm dealing with it, but, um... You pull one group of ads and you got all this space to move around, right? If this was Mythic, you'd have to walk, like, a very specific fucking route through the ads that... <sighs> it's just annoying. It's just not... fun. 
Like, you're always feeling rushed. Which, in the right scenario, it's good. But not all the time. Yeah, myth mythics are okay. Not, not that great, in my opinion. And I felt like that was the thing to do, right? In... In BFA. Like, when I got my endgame character set up, I was like, alright, what am I gonna do now? Obvious gear progression is gonna be through Mythic Plus. And of course the rates as well. Are you hyped for Shadowlands? I am definitely hyped for Shadowlands. Yeah, for sure. Like, I, I wanna finish this quickly because my head's killing me. Like, I wanna go to bed, wake up and be able to do stuff tomorrow and then be nice and fresh for Shadowlands, right? Oof. But yeah, I am hyped for sure. If I seem like I'm not hyped, well, I am. I just can't expend any energy that is unnecessary. Francisco Turunda, thank you so much for the sub. I do appreciate that, man. You're the best. I'm doing calling on Saturn in Icecrown right now. <laughs> it strikes again. I get over here, bad boy. You're about to get these hands. There's the ashes. Good stuff. I should have used the Crusader Strike a little bit earlier. I should always use Judgment as well on cooldown. Right here, this is fine. Oh, Divine Purpose blocking like a mad lad. Oh fuck, I was gonna lay on hands the tank. And rip. Hmm. Alright, there's a battle less, that's good. Come on, take it. Do come Gora then. They got this, I'm sure. Finish your next ICC raid with the new build. Uh we'll probably be joining Cookie on Tuesday for a quick ICC 25 uh finish. Like, we're gonna finish the ICC that we started. We'll get VDW, Syndra, LK. So we'll see how they handle that, and... I don't know. We'll see if I can help a bit. Oh no. I should have really done a proper lay on hands there. That, that was my fault that we wiped. Straight up. Straight up, my fault. Uh, what's recap? You can see your death recap. Kind of like in League of Legends. You can see what killed you. And... What kind of damage it was. It's pretty convenient. I've used it a few times. You can also just check Skada, of course. You still have Skada deaths. <laughs> this quest log being so big, by the way, it's not good. It ruins my UI. But yeah, you can go to uh, deaths and just check it out there. That still works. Anyway, what were we talking about? Hila was sitting near the boss, got silenced. Ah, rip. You could also look at that as the tank didn't move it away from the healer. Right? Technically that's one way to see it as well. Will you need to be level 50 to start Shadowlands? I just started leveling my first character. I assume you have to be level 50, yeah. Uh, thing is, you gotta hurry up dude. <laughs> because it's coming out in like 21 hours. I'm also trying to like finish this character and get it ready. Okay, so the next ICC raid. Um, it's gonna be really convenient that we can finish the cookie raid on Tuesday because you know if we want to play some Shadowlands, having like a small raid on Ice Crown is very nice. Uh <sighs> When are we gonna raid with Balance and Sanity? Like, I wanna raid with them this Wednesday. Like, I've been in the guild for a few days now and I haven't, like, actually joined the raid. That feels pretty bad. You know? Like, I am dedicated to the guild, but I haven't shown it yet, so what's the point of saying it? Show, don't say. That's number one rule in entertainment business. The, the EU release time kinda sucks? It really does, dude. Any tips and tricks for leveling? Try to get dungeons with quests, like we just talked about. You can actually, like, um, change Chromie's time warp to the point where you go to a place 
you do the dungeons with the quests and you go to a different place and you do the dungeons with quests there, right? Or like a different um, expansion. But people have been telling me that apparently you can like get power boosted or something. So maybe if you just Google it, you're gonna get better tips than me, than I can give you. Because what I can give you right now is not a lot. This is like the first time I've done it, leveling on retail, like from, uh, I don't know, from like 1 to 50. And I already noticed that I can do a lot of things very differently. Like in a better way, right? So I'm sure there's a guide out there that's actually better than what I can give you right now. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves up a little bit there. If you get the right autopilot, you can level 1 to 50 in 5 to 6 hours. Yeah, and that's just from questing, I assume. Like, there are definitely some zones that you really want to avoid, and then there's zones that you really want to do, right? So, if you know exactly where to go, which the add-on will help you with, then that's gonna be, like, super efficient for you. I got some leggies. See if they're any good. Uh, yes! Actually, give me those. I can't change... Kill that thing. E. Alright. We're gonna get so speedy, ladies and gentlemen. 5%, 3%, boom, we are speed. It's like we just unlocked two points into Pursuit of Justice, just like that. I'm using a 60 hertz monitor, yeah. yeah. That's the thing I don't like about autopilots. It does get draining, like, you just follow an arrow the entire time, right? And it is as fast as you can follow the arrow. The, the arrow. Um, it does drain me a little bit, if I play like that. It's kind of why I don't really like Skyrim-ish games anymore. Like, imagine playing a Fallout or a Skyrim without the compass, you know, that, that honestly would make it a better game. But then again, here I am just running through stuff that I know to make it fast. Basically following my internal error. So what can I really say? I'm doing it anyway. Oh, Root, that's just Root. Get bopped. Big pop. That was a very big bop. Someone is a level up. Gerrats. Based on Shadowlands and killing of Satom seems really slow. You would have beaten Malganus by now on Icecon. And we also wiped. That doesn't help. But yeah, it does feel super slow. For sure. That's why I don't like it. And I've already done it once, so I know it like it's it's gonna feel this slow. I'm gonna taunt that construct, let him pop my shield. And then when the shield is popped, I'm just gonna stun him. Okay, I didn't stun him. That's fine. I'll stun him in set. There we go. Yeah, I assume 5 hours is far too slow. I didn't really want to like talk some shit about the autopilot add-on. 
But five hours, like, that's too fast, actually. That's not too slow, that's too fast. But my brain is melting, so... I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, five hours is really freaking fast. Like, we're not doing a bad pace ourselves. Like, these dungeons really aren't actually helping. They're actually really slowing us down at the moment, because we're getting bad RNG. But, um... Eight hours? That's fast as well. That, that's already pretty fast. But it is definitely doable. With the experience that I have, it's for sure doable. But five. Oof. Not in Wotluck. And if anywhere, like, if anything, it's not gonna be in Wotluck. You open it up and spend it at all times. What? I am confused. GPU are you using? You can check all of that in the Discord. There's a frequently asked actions question. There you can see the specs. I don't remember that shit. I'm sorry. <sighs> hey, Don Corleone. It's been a while. How you doing, man? Hope you're having just a wonderful day. Alright, there's the stun. That's wings. And do another stun. The experience seems really bad there as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. It feels like shit. Let's see how much it is for that big boy. 700 XP. <laughs> yeah, th this has been some bad RNG, getting this specific one. But that's alright. Like, if we queue up again, we can get something good. And if we don't get something good, I'm just gonna quest. Because we're wasting a lot of time here. For sure, dude. Yes. Let's zap him up. There we go. Dude's thing. Good. Good, good. My demon hunters are so weird. I always like take care of their spells. Because they look like they're gonna be evil spells, right? You got like this blue lightning and shit. Or like this green fire. Spell fire. You think like, hey, that must be like something I have to avoid. But then it isn't. It's just one of your buddies doing something. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, it is very confusing. Gavel of the Flesh Carver. Crafter even, wow. Quick tip, try Lock Modal and Redridge for your last levels. Oh! Right, we can use the entirety of vanilla as well. I'd still want to do Sons of Odir though. Like, the Wotluck person in me is saying, Do Sons of Hodir, you need it. Yes. And not even for shoulder enchants, but honestly... <sighs> I don't know. I really don't feel like finishing the Oracle's quest right now. Like, that shiny treasure just always makes my head hurt. Such a stupid quest. What's that? Void shield. I don't like that. Juicy crits right there. That's good. The amount of quests here, there is insane. 
Yeah, I really like Red Ridge Mountain actually. If I play a character, or if I'm like, trying to level a character on the line side that can uh, solo those elite quests in Wrath of the Lich King, then oh, it's so good. Because you can pick up pretty much all of the quests at once, you know? There's no like progression bullshit where you take two quests and then you get two more quests. No, you just pick up like 15 quests at once and then you go. It's awesome. I actually come to think of it. No, I don't know. I was thinking of something, but never mind. Sons of Odin is one of the best quest lines in this game, but it's extremely long. That's the thing. I'll be level 50 for sure. You can also do it in the Grand Arena and Tenaris in the Arena. That's true. But wouldn't I need to get carried for an Agrant and Tenaris Arena? I don't feel like I can solo that. I tried... Well, I didn't try to solo the Zuldrak Arena. But I probably couldn't have. Because I was getting smacked really bad. But yeah, doing that doesn't sound like a bad idea. However, I'm gonna have to go to Chromie and like fix all that stuff. Like swap it around, you know. Oh. That's not in range. That joke takes like 15 hours. Freaking humans. Hey, have a nice stream. Thank you, Zensi. Appreciate it, man. <sighs> Would have been better without a headache. Not gonna lie. I like this Orc of Silence. And the thing that somebody used to pull them out to the middle. I like that kind of mob displacement effects. It's very strong. There's a lot of utility. Why doesn't the uh, Homey work for me? You have to be level 10, I think, for Homey to work. Just got the Elegon mount. Now I have the mount and two Elegons as hunter pets. Elegon, huh? I don't know what that is. Let's take a look. Oh boy, this is different. Uh, <laughs> this fucking sucks. Where's my fucking search bar? I guess I'm not using Atlas loot. Yeah, Sigil of Chains. This stuff. This is awesome. thing to use. We should have actually went for the Wake of Ashes right there. That's not a good Wake of Ashes. Dios mio. man's health just got dunked on. Very scary stuff. Let's go ahead and swap with the aura. 3% damage reduction is probably better than something that's never gonna work. I'm just gonna lay on handset. I don't know what it is, but that's very scary. Got some new legs, but the movement speed on these legs, I don't think will be changing them anytime soon. I'm really digging that 8%. Thanks again for the gems. Try the in-game adventure vault in Mogushan. Aha. Mogu, Mogu, Mogu. Yeah, I was actually in Mogushan vault pretty recently. Oh, that's not bad looking. Elegon. You said something about that. Oh yeah, the Elegon Mount. So this is the one you, you got. This is really dope. I like those Celestial Mounts. The transparent part of it. 
makes them really cool. Let's go! Big damage! I think we can pull a bit more than this, right? Yeah, let's go, man. We are strong! Very dependable. Let's pull a bit more. Come here, bitches. Enter, die! That's a long ass stun. I love it. Okay. Now we're fine on healer mana. I mean, like, seriously, we can speed this up a bit. Because I'm kind of done with uh, calling off stat home. Let's go, go, one big pull. These shits don't even matter. Been uh, starting to watch your videos, the past videos. Wish you best of luck, even though you play Alliance. Ah, yeah, the past videos, uh, get, it, they get some decent views. So thanks for that. Appreciate it, man. But uh, yeah, T, I'll keep doing what I'm doing unless I can't. But then I'll uh, I'll let you know. Oppa, 7k damage right there. Light's judgment. Boom. And let's taunt this. I have to shield the vengeance break. No, no, no. The whole point is that I take damage. Don't worry, dude. I need this. There we go. How much damage did that do? 2k. Okay. okay. It's not bad. Divine Storm is definitely MVP in this fight. AoE is actually a lot of fun. Because getting the most out of your Divine Storms, it's more about how do you manage your Holy Power instead of are you getting lucky. You still need a bit of luck, it helps a lot. But it's not as much as in Vot, like where you just need to get like a 40% you know, luck on your uh, Divine Storm. Do you have a schedule for Horde subscriber runs? Yes. I do them every other week on Monday. Oh. So, last week we did Alliance on Monday. And this upcoming Monday, so tomorrow or today actually, we're gonna have the Horde subscriber run. And that's how uh, we'll do it. Well met. We'll get it. And you can actually find the subscriber run schedule on my Discord as well. Like, it's not that interesting because, you know, it's just... Like I said. We just alternate. But I will, like, every now and then, I'll, like, uh, put in the next dates. So that you can see, like, what's up. There's a shield. That was a really good shield, even. Oh. Saved my life. I'm gonna, like, heal up. Yeah, I'm glad I healed up. I am so fucking glad I healed up. <laughs> Rest of the root can't keep up. Either that, or I'm heal banned. I feel like I'm heal banned. I mean, he doesn't have the most mana either. Oh, maybe he was like uh, put to sleep. This boss actually CCs, you know, with the sleep, so maybe that's what happened. I don't know, whatever the case. Get this guy out of here. Get him out of here. There we go. Let's wait for some RP right here. Which server are you playing on? This is Ravencrest. Yeah. 
Daarna is het soluble, met je rijden met naar grand, you need a carry. I wouldn't mind a carry. Oh, that's much better. I'll take that. Alright, see you guys. Um, what do I do? Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop out of the instance group for now. We might do some more later. But I wanna see if I can get some good progression at K3. Because I feel like this is far too slow. Like, I don't know, without those quests, it's literally what I expected, right? No quests, no XP. That's how it be. Can I? Hi. Oh, right, that makes sense. Um, like LLB, high definition, F. <laughs> if you want to carry me to that uh, uh, brain health. What were we talking about? Nagrand. Yes, Nagrand. If you can help me to Nagrand, that'd be great. And that would be awesome. If that's why you were whispering. Like, the whisper window in this retail is so fucking garbage. Like, literally, look at this. Like, why the fuck does this not work? People whisper me, right? And then it puts it into separate eight ass fucking boxes and guess where it doesn't put it? Right here in the goddamn whisper window. Like this is... Why? 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 Blizzard? Why? Literally, what am I missing? This is set up correctly, right? And it just doesn't show anything. That's really frustrating. Because if I use this like I use it on Wotluck, it just, it's gonna go into this, and then I can't keep track of my whispers, like, whatsoever. That is so fucking garbage. So bad. Ah. Uh, really triggering. Interface social, whispers online. Alright. Thanks. That's really annoying. Face, social, whispers, whispers. Whispers online. Whispers online, what? Where? Oh, inline! That's what you meant. I thought you made a... Whatchamacallit? Like a typo? No, but you didn't. That's awesome. Alright, I hope this works because, like, that has been really frustrating. Mm. Isn't this just, like, much slower now that I'm in a group? That thing seems much stronger than the others. Don't think it's because it's supposed to be an elite. Or it is. Like, it just has like triple the HP, what the hell. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Retracting from Botlek? Absolutely not, no. Don't worry about it. Ravencast is full alliance? I think it's decently balanced. But, um, like, I don't know what you're doing, dude. Like, I really don't need someone following me when I kill ads. Like, I don't like it. I'll just be straight up. Like, I really... I don't know, it, it's just... weird. Like, I appreciate the dungeons, but... Yeah, I don't know. It just gets so awkward. I uh, got my rogue combat spec from the Discord. So far, zero to hero. That's good to hear, man. That's awesome. These shiny treasures, ugh. Um, also, LOD, what are we doing? Our 
we gonna go for Nakarand? Arena? Or was this just like an invite for some reason? Because like I said, I don't actually like questing together. I think it's like hella awkward. Unless I'm doing it with like someone that I, that I know. Then it's fine. Go to Nakarand Arena? Yeah, but I'll, I'll like have to time swap and everything. Unless I have like a carry ready. Like, I'm not gonna do that. I can't solo it, no way. Like, maybe some of the bosses, maybe if I cheese them hard enough, but then the time worth, you know, like for in the time investment won't be worth it. Oh, this quest is fuck. Alright, dude. I'm gonna need you to dick shit up. Hi. Is that it? Alright, fuck this quest. I'm just gonna finish the other one, and I'll figure this out later. <laughs> like, literally, I have such hatred for this quest. So I'll just deliver that. Let's get out of here. 45. No new spells. But, a talent point. Go carry him, I don't even play retail. Can't help. Uh, that's fine. Like, I don't even really want to do it. Like, what I want to do is just go to uh, K3. Oh my god. Okay, I thought it was straight up 60% Leon Hands cooldown. Alright, that Ward of Glory healing is really calling to me right here. Deliver a powerful weapon strike. Increase his health done. Or. Like, that's how my brain works. Like, what part of those sentences says increases health done? Like, right now, that's just a mess. Like, a scrambled mess in my head. I don't know why, but it's not good. Your holy power spend, blah blah blah. Oh. Okay. So that's free flash of lights every now and then. I... It's between Selfless Healer and Healing Hands, but I'll try Selfless Healer first. Let's see if that's any good. Alright. Like, I don't, I don't see you being able to carry me in Arena when you're a lower level than me, dude. <laughs> Literally, I don't need help leveling. Just with things that I can't solo. I'd much rather just solo everything. That I, that I can't solo, right? Oh, Jesus. Selfless healer. Okay. There's the stone key. Let's get out of here. Lockbox. Cool. Selfless healer. Go ahead and set that to that. Yes. There we go. I think you have to tell the little guy to find the shinies. I tried clicking on him, he does nothing. Guys fucking hate that quest so much. Like, I've always remembered that it's just a waste of time. Like, it just doesn't do what I want it to do. Like, it's always taken me much longer than I want to take on that quest. That's basically the issue. Anyway, there we go. The selfless healer thing might be really, really good, actually. If we can just enter a fight like this, with the selfless healer up. We can use our uh, holy power for a damage instead of actual, like, you know, healing. It's a 
doesn't really stack all that fast. Well, that's kind of disappointing, a little bit. But three stacks is enough. Uh, Ward of Glory is probably a little bit more efficient. Anyway. Let's uh, get out of the group. Because I don't see a reason for us being in a group right now. <laughs> I can just do this myself. And I'll be fine. I'm really missing Hammer of Wrath. Like, that's one thing. For light here, the place that was with you in the dungeons. Time to go sleep. I have fallen on the main levels. Thanks, man. See you in Shadowlands. I will see you in Shadowlands. Alright, dudes. Good night. Enjoy your sleep. Uh, I, I really don't want to kill that elite. Strand, dude. Flee, flee for your life. Like, literally, 16k HP. Just fucking run. I'm not helping you with that. Good luck and joy. Oh my god. I'm getting so scammed in this group. <laughs> now I have to kill it, apparently. Oh, this is why I... <laughs> Alright, whatever, let's kill it. Oh, this, is, this is a very avoidable fight. Alright, dude. Tea. For the group and everything. It's been fun. Ciao, ciao. I'm getting out. Let's deliver this real quickly. And we'll go to K3. I feel like healing hands down is more consistent because you have more control over your healing. That's very hard when you're on low HP with the talent. Yeah, 100%, that's a lot of healing. Like, I wish it... I honestly, I thought it would stack, like, if you spend 3 holy power, that you get 3 stacks of selfless healer, but of course it doesn't stack like that, which immediately makes it much worse than I anticipated or wanted it to be. Uh, we're not gonna go to the way gate. Like, at that point, this, this quest is... It takes too long, it's not that efficient. Let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, we can get to Dalaran like this. So, like here. Will you be Holy Paladin? Want more healing? Some more healing wouldn't hurt, but Holy Paladin, ah, that's a bit much. 50 is still the max level? For now, it is. Tomorrow, or in like 20 hours, that's going to change. DP me, bitch. There we go. Alright. Quickly set the Hearthstone here. Do not deliver that quest. That's a free teleport whenever you're stuck in Borean. Shoop the whoop right in. And you're in Dalaran. That's also the case on Botlik, by the way. So if you take the ship from Stormwind to Dalaran, or from Stormwind to Borean to Nra, then you can ask that guy to teleport you, if you've never delivered the quest. Uh, let's go there. Right there. I kinda wanna try one more dungeon, and if I get a wrong dungeon, I feel like I'm just gonna ditch. Like, I don't wanna ditch, but I need efficiency. And again, you can probably get banned for ditching. Also, my mana is lead. Let's just not do that, let's come back. Your gear looks like trash. I know, right? It's like what, like trash. Like fresh level 80, trash. I actually really like it. <laughs> Hide the cloak and the helmet, jeez. Worst patch, BFA or Legion? Uh, classic. And then suddenly, everyone has unsubscribed. Oh no. 
probably for me, like honestly, there hasn't been a single expansion that I've disliked more than Mr. Pandaria. I know that might be rude, but uh, I literally feel like that. Saw so a video on my suggestions on my own video. Dropped in, check this out. Hey man, what's up? You dropped in at a bad time. I'm experiencing a headache. So, I'm like a little bit on the... I, I don't know, I feel like I seem confused. Like, I've checked my streams. Like, I've done streams with headaches in the past. And I'll like check... Uh, I'll skip through the video. And I feel like I'm so confused the entire time. But that's literally like... I'm sorry. It just hurts. Like, thinking is a struggle. Not a good time. Anyway, we gotta kill some ads, get some keys, loot some equipment. Let's get it. I still appreciate everyone watching, of course. Like, thank you guys for that. But yeah, I know I'm not on my best line now. That storm cloud is really messing my day up here. That's not a whole lot of healing, huh? Just 1k. That's not so much. Alright, there's three keys. Let's pull these. But that's a nice combo, Word of Glory, plus the Flash of Light. But if Word of Glory just does 100% more, I think the Flash of Light becomes completely irrelevant. Hi for Shadowlands, and you'll still stream it? Yes, we are definitely gonna stream it. I hope I don't have a headache by then, that's good. That would be awesome. Anyway, there is no one in there. We do need a lot of the equipment, so we might just want to go into the buildings to pick up the equipment. Time is money. I don't like getting dismounted like this, but you know. Is this Storm Peaks? Yes. Absolutely. We're we doing the Sons of Holder quest chain. And I really hope that that's gonna be fast enough. Because I really don't have anything to fall back on. Like, I guess there's Red Ridge, like people said. Like, that's actually gonna be really fast. Like, I can get an entire level out of that place, easy mode. But besides that, I don't really have any, like, tricks up my sleeve. I was, re I was really hoping that Sholazar was gonna be enough. And we are gonna do Scumbag. Like, I've decided we're gonna be a Scumbag. Getting an entire level from an RDF, like a good RDF with some dun uh, with some dungeon quests. That's actually going to be very, very helpful at the moment. Because I don't know if we can make it to 50 with the IDs that I have currently. I'll probably end up getting Dungeon Deserter, Ashu. Like, if I get into a dungeon where I don't have quests, I'm just gonna leave it and accept, like, the 30 minute penalty. I know it's not what you're supposed to do, but have it. Speed is what matters right now. Gotta go fast. Got to go fast as. They took our men! Oh no! Feminists everywhere, rejoice! Alright, leave no goblin behind. Let's do that. And then the quest should start raining in pretty fast, like one after another. 
and this area should become a good leveling area. Now we did get a nice ring upgrade right there. Get rid of that. We're getting so much gear. Mm -mm -mm. I haven't collected this appearance. Wow! Now I have. Boom. Plated Bulwark. Easy transmog collection. Okay. A little bit out of the line of sight, sadly. What you get? D ring from this quest line? Not sure. I've forgotten all about those rings. I know you get the one ring from fishing in like level uh, 15 to 20 water, something like that. But I can't remember where you get the other ones. I think there was a Burning Crusade version as well, which actually was pretty decent when Burning Crusade came out. But besides that, I don't remember much about it. Come on, man. If they kept that joke going, by the way, then at this point they're at, like, the F ring. Which is kind of funny, actually. I would wear the F ring. Alright, exhausted bitches, where are you at? Oh, they're in the cave section, of course. Yeah, we're definitely... Definitely gonna pop some swiftness potions here. Good boy. Don't fall. Good girl. We're not even gonna bother killing them. Like, just disciplining them. That's good enough. There we go. Bop. All right. Let's get one more of those exhausted bitches. Use Divine Steed to get back to the quest giver, and then we'll enter the dungeon, see if we can get lucky. Bop! There we go. Oculus. I called Oculus, like straight up. I don't know if there's any quests here though. But I... Yeah, there's not a single quest. Ah. Oh. Or is there? I hope there's a quest. Does anyone know if there's a quest? Does this unlock the Polar Bear Dailies? Good point. This actually does unlock the Polar Bear Dailies. You're right. Like a single quest would be fine. Like The dungeon doesn't take that long. If we just, you know, put our backs into it, it's good. There's three quests. Ah, after the first boss. Now that's good info. Alright, thank you. Like, that's all I needed to know. I am reinvigorated for this. Let's do it. And also, with selfless healer, I'll now be able to, like, actually drop free healing on, on people. Like, if the tank is a bit low and I got four stacks of selfless healer, I can just drop that shit right on top of them. Or, you know, just ignore it like a boss. I think selfless healer is good, actually. In a raiding environment. Ward of the Ward of Glory thing might still be good, but the thing is, you'll be giving up a lot of DPS in the wrong situation. By uh, going for a word of glory to heal people. Alright, good. At least it's not Violet Hold. Facts. I don't mind Oculus, I really don't. 
It's just that I thought there wasn't gonna be any quests. So I got kind of like a little bit... I got Oculus Depression, okay? But now I no longer have Oculus Depression. Now I have Oculus... Yeah, something, that's for sure. Oculus Hype? So hyped, I'm just gonna run in. Right here. Oh, Divine Purpose and Selfless Healer actually uh, have synergy. That is not bad at all. You don't get all the quests at once though? Ah, oh, fuck off. Nah, come on. Okay, see, I do get them in like one clear, right? It's not like red and green and bronze all have like one separate quest. Because that would be super AIDS. Like that's what I'm that's what I'm worried about, but I don't think it's like that. Please tell me it's not like that. The mage balls hit super hard. I'll keep an eye out. We got self a sealer, little hands. We'll be fine. We're gonna be a very useful paladin. I don't know why I just used Divine Storm. Get all three in the same dungeon. Okay, okay, okay. Good. I was starting to get Oculus Depression again. It's a real thing. I think the healer meant for us to stay in that big yellow circle. I'm getting this feeling. Don't quite know why. Now I'm thinking selfless healer. In a in a dungeon scenario, like I think this is fine. Being able to heal yourself every now and then, it's good stuff. A that's already one quest d -d -d done. Let's get some crits, maybe? Staunch! I'll take that for the memes. I don't know if my cheese works, so let's just not even attempt it. Uh, yeah. Where's that thing? These bags are too big. <laughs> Like, literally, did I pick it up? You need something? Right, I have to talk to him one more time. That makes sense. Pop, 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 pop. Let's go. So where do retail people go first? Do they take the circle, huh? First dungeon of the day, Oculus. Always, man. How's it going so far? Is it fun? It's a good time, Foxage. I'm gonna see if I can pull the dra- I'm gonna see if I can pull with the dragon, and that'll tell me if my cheese works or not. Oh. So you got an issue with me, motherfucker? That's what I thought. You get XP for this? No way. I'm gonna kill a few of these while we wait. Like, you even get reputation, but like, where are bitches? Oh, there they are. Wow. Teamwork makes the dream work. Alright. Easy club. Use two bronze strikes. Eh. It'll be fine. I think we can always swap it if it like if it's like really bad and it doesn't work. We'll swap it up. But yeah, five experience, let's go. Also, I seem to have a lot of damage on this thing. For some reason. Okay. But he resets. But that doesn't work.
He's not blocking my shield. My taunt isn't actually doing damage, I don't like it. Damage boost on last boss plus the time left. I think we've got like at least one bone strike. But it should be fine, dude. Like just press one, right? <laughs> I've done it so many times. Don't worry, dude. I play Votluck. This should be okay. Alright, go. We don't have all night, guys. Yalla. The tank is AFK. Come on. Right here, dude. Oh my god. Can't even put a marker on myself. Like, come, come, come. Right here. Good. Jesus. Oh, there goes all my holy power. Big heal. Alright, let's go. Let's go. I'm just gonna pull. I don't even care. I swear to god, if he says, bruh, don't pull, I'm tank. I'm just I'm just gonna leave. I don't even care. He's being far too slow. There, yes. Let's go. I really feel like I need a new weapon as well. Like, my weapon's actually, like, pretty low level at this point. It's 34. Like, that's 10 levels behind. That's significant I'd say. So getting a new weapon, that'd be awesome. I don't think this dungeon drops any weapons though. So that's not so awesome. But our Reforged 2 Silver Champion has given us some nice moments. You know, it, it disappeared entirely on itself. That was pretty awesome. Then it came back. Good memories, for sure. Did they really copy the spinning hammer spell from Crusader in Divine... Oh, so that's where I've seen that. Like, I knew I've seen this animation before, I just couldn't place my finger on it, but you're right about that, Olfan. That spinning hammer, that is from Diablo 3. I've seen, like, uh... I think it was, like, um... Oh, it was, like, a YouTuber. I think it was Mitten Squad when he played Diablo 3. I saw this hammer spin. I've got a vague memory of it. It's really vague. It's kind of impressive that that's a memory. After all, I was trying to fall asleep, but yeah. Remembering stupid useless shit. That's me. I feel like I didn't give enough priority to my judgement in this rotation. But besides that, everything has been going very well. Are you okay, bro? There's a zappy beam, like right over there. I think it's following me. Uh oh.
All right. Yeah, no. Those plasmatic sockets, they're too valuable. I need my movement speed. I need my movement speed. Also, did it die? Or can you not? No, he cannot. All right, here's the mage boss. Oh shit, there's a quest. Yep, yep, yep. I'm on it, guys. Thank you for having my back. Appreciate it. Let's get it. Alright, that would have been a shame. Let's kill Mage Lord Udon. I won't be doing that quest actually. Get rid of it. And we'll go for Light's Judgment on one of these pulls. Probably the last one. By the looks of that cooldown. Let's get it over with nice and quick. What's up with your dance RNG? Right? It's awesome. The game knows I like dance. Not sure what that means, but. <laughs> Come on, tank. Alright, fuck it. We're doing it without the tank. If I can just get the aggro of these bitches. That Murdoch is stabbing me. And I don't like it. There we go. Yeah, the tank is a bit brain AFK. That's okay. Who needs a tank? Not on these ads, that's for damn sure. I'm just gonna start it again because that's what we did last time, so we should be fine. I hope. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. Oh, so many Divine Storm resets, like, oh, Jesus. It really is a joy to play this. Like, even with a headache, I'm I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this gameplay. This is some good stuff. This is that good shit, you know what I'm saying? I'll be dropping right on his face. There we go. Get out of here. I think my hand of judgment or um, my hand of freedom can remove this effect. Oh boy. Let's get the heck out of here. Heal up a bit. Just help the healer out. We're taking like a little bit too much damage. Like the tank is actually tanking it correctly here. That's a lot of damage. Just quickly heal up. Yeah, this false bomb hurts like a banshee. And let's help with the healers. We can do one more Art of War, or Flash of Light, rather. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Is mana just not a thing? Well, it kind of is, but it's like in a burst. Like, I can't continuously heal people. But I can definitely stand still every now and then, and like, heal the shit out of someone. Which I think is actually, uh... uh I'm fine with it. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't dislike it at all. Like, it's fine, the way it is. It's, it's a bit weird, it's very different compared to Wrath of the Lich King, that's for damn sure. But I don't think it's bad. 
ice sticks for a lot, even on warming. On warming, they get, it's got like a stacking debuff. I guess they have it here as well. But maybe that's the thing that's really messing us up. Those whelps give decent XP. Considering they're like a one shot and there's nothing to do anyway. It's like 13 experience. Let's go. Alright, I flanked him, guys. Go, go, go. We got this. I'm mounting his neck. I'm biting it. Om. Om nom. <laughs> wow, his health. Jesus, that's. Jesus, but, wow, that's not like that on Warman at all. Okay. <laughs> it is, um. Different. We did get to 56. That's good. Uh, 46. Hammer of Wrath. Stonks. Alright, mountain coming. No. Another pants. <laughs> I am the pants man. He didn't even do the, the immune phase. Yeah, that's insane. Like, what is that? That's a bit too fast. Like, I'm not complaining. But I am complaining. You catch my drift. I'm fine with it, but it is a bit weird, yeah. Alright, Garhal! Get your booty f lapped over here. Also, I'm gonna do the same thing. If I get a bad dungeon, I'm skipping it. I'll need you guys' uh, knowledge on retail for this. Like, I don't know what's a bad dungeon and what isn't. If I see quests at the start, I'll know that it isn't, but, you know, that doesn't say a lot. The wings are completely bugged on this model. Wow. It's... What? Um, Blizzard, I'd like to report a bug. Wow, that is messed up. The other bosses took a lot longer. Yeah, those dragons do far too much damage in time walk. Like, I think that's the issue. Because I was melting those um, those regular dragons as well. Like, I was just straight up melting them. Uh, do I fly? No, I'll just walk. Wasn't there a way to see more stats? Like, this is just the basic stats, but maybe it's in here somewhere. I... Maybe I'm just thinking about Mr. Pandaria. Felt like there used to be, like, a button in the corner or something. Don't think they've updated this Raikou model at all? Yeah. Oh, this still looks exactly the same as on Wrath of the Lich King. Like, it's got those... You see how it's not smooth? It's like, look at her shoulder, it's like, boop, boop, and then turn, boop. That's how it goes, like, that's what I kind of like about the Wotlik models, but it's also, I've done this dungeon. Alright. We're gonna have to take that 30 minutes. And that wouldn't be very efficient if I stay there. Like, straight up, that would just be a waste of time. Anyway, that sucks. I hope that's within the terms of surface or whatnot. Wouldn't make sense if it's not. Yo! Sister! Stop messing with my goblin, yo! It was a good dungeon, but I've already done the quest there. So there's no... Pl like, it's gonna be... Inefficient for me to be there because there's no quests. Like every single time that we stayed in dungeon without quests, it's been like super bad. Now that dungeon actually does have good pulls, but still, I feel like I, I'm wasting my time there. All right, victorious challenger. 
There's three right here. Yeah, this is retail, but the side wings are pretty funny. Like, retail is not without any bugs. Like, that's why... Like, I, I don't really get upset when people are like, Oh, Warmane is such a bugged place. Like, they do really, really, really well. Considering that they're not actually getting paid by subscription, right? It's all just donations. Like, Warmane does very good for a private server. I think they should uh, get appreciated for that sometimes as well, you know? Instead of just... Uh... Alright, I'm a cheat. Whatever. Because I got distracted by the fact that I have Hammer of Wrath! Very cool. Now I'm out of buttons. How are we going to deal with this? It's a bit weird. We're going to have to redo all these buttons anyway. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Yeah, look at that. Item level 51. Oof. We can get so much out of our, like, weapon. If we get a good two-handed weapon somewhere. I haven't seen the animations lately, but... I bet it's completely messed up. Oh, now this this is the part of the quest chain that I really don't like. Okay. Like we basically just I'm pretty sure we just like yeah, we just run circles. And it's like, eh. Not that fun. It's a lot more fun than it is on Warmane, though. Because on Warmane, this is so freaking bugged. Anyway, the last time I've done it, which is like years ago, right? It was completely just broken. It didn't work so well. I'm gonna have to make a second round here, I think. There's just not enough Frost Giants. Yeah, I think I'll be one Frost Giant short. Are you kidding me? Okay, good. Good. You can double tap him. For that in Godlock, there's actually animations for it. Ah! Yeah, I don't know, that whole Freikol situation seems hell uh, visually impaired. This is the quest that I... <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now, the issue with Warmane here is that... The, the spawn times are so messed up, right? Everyone and their mother is doing the Sons and Holdir quest for their shoulder enchants. So there's always like three, four, five, six people like doing this quest chain. And they all get bogged down on this specific quest because there's just not enough of these, uh, these Brunhildar prisoners. And also it flies super weird. It kind of flies weird on, on retail too, but less weird. It flies at less of an angle. Still a lame quest. Nothing fun about it. Feels like a chore. Like, you see how it's... It tries to go up instead of... Straight. It's very weird.
It's not scale to the population. Exactly. Some of those stuff, even though it's gonna be like abusable if it has a super short respawn time, but if you played on Frostmourne, like day one, the spawn times on items were like 20 seconds, like on long ass items as well, right? Oh my god, it was so good. Like, I remember going to Bori and Tundra with Tim, and we did the quest where you have to put, you have to pick up a book in like the burned down building, right? And we both got it within a minute, and we were just sitting there like... How? That's insane! We want more of this swarming! Like, it was so convenient, having to sit around that book and like spam duel on someone because he's also trying to get the book and you're trying to ignore like you're trying to annoy him so he, he doesn't pick it up like that's just so aids <laughs> i don't mind doing it because i think it's kind of fun to be aids but you know there we go pick this bad girl up or this one i guess Like that box in the boat in Valiant's Keep. Yep, Red Book in Farshire. The wine in the ship is also really bad. Because some classes can't actually... They don't have water breathing, right? So so they really get messed up in that quest line. If they have to wait there for like 5 minutes for it to spawn. Yeah, that's also one of the reasons why I advise leveling like in the midnight. If, you know, that's a thing. That's an option for you with your lifestyle and everything. Not always a thing. 21 minutes on the dungeon. Don't feel like Sons of Hodir is gonna get us that much experience, actually. Like, there's not that many quest quests after this, and it's very spread out. Like, I'll have to fly to Thorim like 8 million times. That's gonna be super non advantageous. But what I'm gonna do. Is I'm probably gonna go to Red Ridge Mountain actually. Run the timer on this while I'm doing quests in Red Ridge Mountain. And that'll be how we get to 50. We'll have to do a few dungeons. Um I think I'm if I if I change it to Burning Crusade, I should still be able to access uh whatchamacallit? The Lakeshire. So I think I'll do that. Get that good RNG. You know, with the quests, with the dungeons in the quest. Words, brain, help. Um, yeah, I think that's gonna be the plan. Because this isn't going fast at all. This is going very, very slow. Those spinal fluid giants in Icecon were dead for hours yesterday. Wasn't able to do my daily for hours. That's horrible. When I did dailies, they actually sometimes broke as well. Like, I've done a lot of dailies on warming, right? The TOC dailies, they were completely broken at the start. And then they started fixing them. And they fixed it, but then they broke it again because, you know, that's how coding goes. But yeah. This daily as well. Like, there has been times in Warmain where you could just enter this place, kill the bear without actually mounting up, and you'd be fine. There was a time where that was the case. Ah. You have to do Cataclysm for that rich. I think it's capped level 35 when you're doing Burning Crusade. Alright, that's good information. Thank you. Cataclysm dungeons aren't bad. There's not that many of them. If they give quests, which I think they do, I'm pretty sure they implement that auto-completion on quests in Cataclysm. Yeah, that's not, that's not too bad. One, two... Can we get a three? Yes, perfect. Oh, 
Oh, this is so weird. Changed my keybind on Divine Storm. This is awkward. Awkward. As heck. Oh. One out of three, huh? Well, this is some terrible RNG. Symbolion, the quest line has been broken so much. Yes. Yeah. The Tim might have actually lost the realm's first level 80 shaman on Frostmorn because that was bugged. Like we know that it has some roleplay at the start, and he really needed to pee, right? He was on uh, he was on pace, he was going hard. No one had reached 80 yet, and um he had to be, so he started the roleplay for that quest, and I was watching the share, the share screen. And there was no roleplay. Valonar just immediately became active and killed Tim, which bugged out the entire quest, which cost him like 15 minutes. <sighs> Man, that was... I wish I could have taken control of his computer and just, you know, killed Valonar. Seeing him die AFK was horrible. Such a good time as well. Yes, give me some quest. That's not too bad. Two quests, but it's nothing great. Like that RDF Q deserter thing is actually kind of messing with us right now. But I don't think Red Ridge by itself is going to give us like an entire three and a half quest, uh, three and a half bar, right? That would suck. This boy. And there we go. Four more worms and then some matriarch. And I think I know where she is. I've got a gut feeling about it. Bug. Yeah, I know. It's so silly. And there she is. Let's go, girl! She's looking like a rug. Alright, this is another auto walker. So, yeah. Is your guild on retail going mythic or just heroic? I don't have a guild on retail. Um, so yeah. Yes, that's the answer. <laughs> yeah, we'll check out Red Ridge real soon. Like, right, just get the last few of these quests done. Maybe get to 70, uh, 47. Probably not. We'll see. If I can, I, I'll, I'll actually do the daily here. There's a chance you can get a mount. The polar bear, like someone said in the comments. And you know what? It took me like three years getting that polar bear on warming. So I have good luck with this quest. You'd have to assume that because I've already done it like 900 times and the drop rate is like 1%, that there's now technically like a 8.9% chance for me to get that mount. 
right? Or does RNG not carry over from warm into retail? I wonder. Alright, there we go. Now we gotta mess up this BDSM boy. I mean, do we really need to be on the bear? I feel like that's just gonna slow us down. Swipe! Oh, never mind, the bear is strong. Alright, I'll charge, it's fine. No, never mind. <laughs> I pushed him all the way here, though. The guy must be in agony, Jesus. Oh, yeah. That's the sad truth of RNG. Alright, Warbear, I choose you. Let's have a Pokemon fight. Oh, dude, my Pokemon's overleveled. No, yeah, let's do this. Also, on Warmane, these bears deal like 300 damage, and it's it's a fucking nuisance to do this quest. Please fix. This is really, really fast compared to how it is on Warmane. Like, damn. This is speed. This is speed with a capital D at the end. Alright, stop. Go, Astrid, go. Talk to me, baby. Let's talk to the crone. And I think that's it for this place. I think this unlocks the daily. I have to auto attack with the bay on warming plus the spells. The auto attack does like 2k damage. I know, but the spell, like, I remember spamming that bash because it was actually like a DPS increase. Because the quest sucked that much. Oh, I don't think I've ever done this on warming. Yeah, I think this was super bugged. Like, autocomplete bugged when I tried it. Which is a long time ago, I assume. Or maybe not. I don't... I'm just gonna pass it like that. We'll figure it out. Put it on one. <laughs> time lost proto drake time? No. Imagine being on like a flight path and seeing time lost proto drake though. I would literally die. I'd be like, no, I can't get off. Wait for me, Time Lost Proto Drake. Wait for me. Now, this is the this is gonna be the Torim quest line indeed. Like I might just uh dip out. Because at this point you have to like travel huge distances the entire time. Redrich is gonna be activated, or Redrich is gonna like take me a while, you know, to get there. And uh I think in 10 minutes, that RDF queue is gonna be up. So then we do like two or three Cataclysm dungeons, a nice clear of Redridge, and we should be level 50. All right, I think it's these ones. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like target the Drake Rider specifically, huh? Nope. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Oh, Jesus. Alright, go. I'm Batman. Oh, big crit. Let's get a few more of those crits and this shouldn't take too long. This is actually pretty cool. I'm digging it. You can do Burning Crusade, Time Walking, join the dungeon and change the Cataclysm. While you get to Rattrich, you get the Q. Oh, you smart. Smart person. 
Is there no cooldown on uh, changing timeline? I almost feel like there's a 7 day cooldown on it. That might have been for something completely unrelated though. Well, she's just chilling. up here these um, these NPCs are spawning too fast like you see how they're all like respawning but they don't have a drake underneath them lil <laughs> seven day cooldowns will be the conduits right 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 the covenant thingy yeah Right, that was the 7 day cooldown. Alright, do we just... Okay. Nice quest. It doesn't matter, I mean after all we are a paladin. I'm sure there's a way to get off there. There has to be a way. I can't find it though. This is faster. I'm figuring it out. I got time lost both like way back, got lucky one morning, tacked it on Paladin, fell down from the air, saved by Bubble. Oh yeah. Yeah, I found it like way in the middle of the air once as well. I had to wait until it came closer to a mountain because I just couldn't kill it. Ah, oh, talk to quest, huh? Oh, we're done. Good. Alright, so yeah, Mending Fences. This is basically when you get to the Sons of uh, Hodir. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just abandon it for now. I know that it's gonna be on the Torin Peak, because that's basically how it is on Warmain. So, hey, easy to remember, right? Uh, no. We're not gonna do the Ruby Sanctum. I wish I had delivered this. I'd be leveled up right now. Yeah. There's no room for that in our tactic. Are you gonna play retail looking for a guild? I will probably need a guild at some point in retail, yeah. For sure. But for now I'm not really looking for it. Uh, we'll see how it goes. And we'll take it from there. Hmm. Hmm. I think there's fine. So yeah, let's put it on to the Cataclysm time walking thing. Because I don't think there's enough time to swap it to Burning Crusade and then wait like 5 minutes. I'd rather just put it on Cataclysm, go to Ratridge, start that whole situation over there. A little bit of rest, that experience never hurts. Does Moonfire Dot actually kept it from resetting? Outplayed. Outplayed. Mechanics provided. Easy clap. How much experience is this? That's not gonna level us up, but we gotta go there anyway, so might as well deliver it. Alright, two gold, doesn't hurt. Hey Berry Tanky, good morning. If this is the official Blizzard server, I'm sorry, I'm not like reading uh, fast at all. But yeah, it's good stuff. This is gonna be on retail. And uh. We're almost done with this character. Learn about more potential allies. Ah, click, click, go, click faster. Boop, boop, and boop. More experience, plus. No. We could level up with the Void Elf quest line. 
we could do that. Ah, uh, I'm tempted. I don't think that's gonna be enough. Let's just uh, stick to the plan. Go try and smoke some badass set. That's a waste of money right now. Be to call me within the dwarven district. Ah, there she is. If she teleports me to Hyjal Mountain, I will fuck her corpse. Okay, good. Yes, I have repressed angers. <laughs> Bring out the big boy weapon as well. It's a waste of money. Like right now, like if I were to transmog an entire set, that would cost like 200, 300 gold probably. And where am I gonna find the transmogger? Elwin Forest is empty. Also, has these trees moved? Like, dude, literally. This tree used to be here, and that tree. No, no, this tree is just in a weird place. This tree is supposed to be here. Right? I'm not tripping. That's weird. That's all kinds of weird. Don't you have the transmog mount? <sighs> Don't I have the transmog mount? Bruh. Don't I have any mount? Yeah. This is gonna be my main. Like, I've got a little bit of stuff, but I was just trying to figure out of an excuse. I was just trying to, like, figure out. I was trying to come up with an excuse so I wouldn't have to transmog, right? That was the whole thing. Should be a starting quest for Redrich in the adventure guide now. I mean, I know the the Redrich quests, but yeah, there it is. Level up through exploring. Let's go. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, that helps. You need to go clear ICC to unlock the set. Actually, you unlock the set in a different way. Which I guess I can show you real quick. I think I have a little bit of gold left on Silver Moon, Like the, uh, the, the Silver Moon server. Which we can use to like buy some transmog stuff. But um... I'm not sure about it. I might not have any gold there. Wow, that rich is different. Epic upgrade, not a bad start. Redrich? Okay. We might have to turn that shit off. A Scourge Invasion is like... Yeah, okay, we're turning that shit off. Wait, we can do that in-game. Like, NPC scan is really fun for Wotluck, but... There's like 7 million... Uh, mobs in like the next expansions. It's still doing it. Fucking asshole add on. We're just gonna turn the entirety of it off. Let's get rid of it. Silver dragon. Boop. That should fix it. No Drenai Tail. Now you're gonna have to Google that one. Can't help you with that. Oh! Oh! I like that pull. go ahead and swap this I should have taken healing hands like that would have been so much better uh, I don't have cooldowns for another big pool but we can do a big small pool that should be fine go ahead and do some of this yeah I feel like healing hands would have been so much better
And we can't silence more legendaries. Yeah, we can't. I think that's fine as well. We should get so many people to answer more than legendaries. It's to the point where like a legendary isn't legendary anymore. Like when someone whips out like a soul for us, you're just gonna be like, mm. it's transmogged, it's whatever. Which you know, it still shows that you've uh, you've acquired. Why am I even killing them here? I should be getting battle plans right here. This is what I need. It still shows that you have the item, but uh, I don't know. I honestly don't enjoy seeing those war glyphs of Azeroth like everywhere. It's just kind of boring. Much like this shield strand smoke, it's also kind of boring. But we're picking it up anyway. Imagine being a druid, picking that up, and I didn't have backspace, lol. Picking that up, going into your bird form and just flying right away so good all right we need to make backspace also how about those shoes yep that's better Still waiting on my transmog scroll from the random battleground. Ah, that's, that one's gonna make you wait a bit. Like, I have not gotten a lot of battleground um, transmog scrolls. There's only like a few. I don't get them often from it, but when I do, it's always like a hype situation. Because it's so rare. Let's get the shield up. Ah, come on. Why couldn't you have just joined the fight earlier? Wasting my time. Niblet. Alright, the queue is up. Let's go find something. Let's get lucky. a bit. There we go. Let's keep ourselves alive and we can go on the offense now. That's good. Have you got the Corrupted Ashbringer? I do have it on War Main, but I don't have it on Retail. No. I don't have shit on Retail. Like, this is gonna be my main. It's crazy, but that's the way it is. That's a big overheal. Hmm. It's like six coins in the store? Yes. That's how I got it as well. And it's actually fun, because if you buy the Corrupted Ashbringer, you can see the the roleplay in Scarlet Monastery, right? It's pretty dope roleplay. Warglaves is more than a 1% drop. No idea. Hey! Oh, how about that? There's a pet. Haven't collected the appearance, I will pick it up then. Let's go ahead and equip this real quick. There we go. I really feel like I need a new weapon, by the way. Like, if I've said this like a few levels ago, but man, it's bad. Uh, I don't really want to bother with this quest. Like, they're just so spread out. I guess these condors are nicely stacked. At least a little bit. Any other bird? No. Where did the first bird go? Did he just like completely disappear? 
That fox is actually something that I can fight. I thought it was them killer. Like I've seen Warglaive drop and I have not done 100 black temples. So by my logics, it has less than a... Or it has more than a 1% drop chance, right? I might have just gotten lucky. You can always argue that, of course. Uh, I need to heal myself, but I'm scratching. I can't heal and scratch at the same time. Alright, Dire Condor, get in there. It's time for you to get that booty clapped. And you as well, Mr. Gortas. We'll slowly complete that quest. And we'll deliver it at some point, I'm sure. For now, I feel like this is the main quest. Oh, frick. They gave me an 8 slot back. Thanks, Blizzard. I get rid of that Ruby Essence. Also, we have food. Very, very interesting food. Let's eat a little bit of that. So I get well fed and I'll like get movement speed when I kill stuff. Like that's pretty cool. 60 minutes buff, awesome. I should have been using that for a while. A 100 kills doesn't guarantee you will see drop. No, that's definitely true. Like I've been through the ringer with uh, RNG, but it does help set my mind to like, all right, Nida's necklace is right here. It does help me to like think about it like that, right? Like I know it's not technically like that, but it gives me hope. When you've done something like 800 times, you gotta say to yourself, "All right, there's there's like a bigger chance for it to drop because I've already done it 800 times." So technically, I should have it, and I do think that that kind of. Like, it's not really a thing, but it's kind of a thing, right? Sort of, in some way. Nah, everyone is just like, nah. Obby, you're just being weird. That's fine. There's your necklace. Don't drop it again. I've picked that thing up for her like 20 times. It's insane. For Whoa, sack! Deliver some shit here. Or just sell some shit. Rather. Yeah. Get rid of some backspace clutter things. Hmm, yeah, whatever. I don't need those potions. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. That should be enough backspace. Does this level with? Mm -hmm. I think that's max level. I don't know. Probably not. But I'm still gonna drink at least one of it for that achievement. And go for Argus, the Unmaker Scythe. The scythes look really good. Nah. Hello. Alright, this is entirely different. We're probably not gonna take the hero's call for Duskwood. For the alliance. But that's fine. I was really hoping for, like, a lot more quests. Like, there used to be so many quests here, but Cataclysm definitely nerfed Redrich a bit. Farewell. At least there's still Bellygrub. Come here, Bellygrub. It's ass kicking time. Hammer to the face. In 100 kills you have a 63.4% chance. Aha, so if you kill it 200 times, then it should be over 100%. Right? 
That's how stonks work. Alright, I'll have to kill Murlocs. Um, let's just, like, Batman them and enter the dungeon. Okay. Not my favorite dungeon. Also, they're already halfway through it, which actually is good for us, I think. Because now we're gonna get a quicker completion. They haven't killed a single boss. Yeah, I don't know what this means for us. That's good or not. Any quests to share? So we should compare item stats from Shadowlands to Botlick stats? Not even close. So way different. Oh shit. Let's uh, put up a shield right there. But yeah, if this doesn't give me quests, then once again, I don't think it's that efficient. I really need a new weapon. Still doing top deeps, but shit, man. That weapon damage is gonna matter a lot. Hey, they have a quest. Allo, share quest. Or do they? I think they do because it kind of like shows that they have it, but I'm not sure about that. They're not sharing it, so I'm gonna assume they don't. This seems like too much of a struggle to even be worth it. Alright, I guess we have to kill minions. Let's focus on the witch for this reason. One Pepe is dead. Can you say more about the items? Mm. They scale with level. Um, basically, if you do a quest at level 10, you get a level 10 item. If you do a quest at level 50, you get a level 50 item. That's pretty much all there is to it. Yo, this seems uh, fucking unreasonably slow. I don't know. <laughs> this really doesn't feel like worth. On Lady Nuss Yar, get flapped. I don't even know what's damaging me, like for real. I feel like I'm just losing health randomly. Maybe I should stay further away from that water. Jesus, this is so slow. Alright, fuck it. Lights Vengeance, go. Alright, you wait right there. I'll go kill some witches. If I had repentance, I could have just repentance that bad boy. But alas, here we are. 
Oh, I'm over that. That's some good damage. Die, 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 die. Come on. Die faster. And this was a bad idea. Like, without the quest, this is... wow. There's actually some decent stuff for you in this dungeon. A two-handed axe. I wouldn't mind that. Like, that would be really nice, but... Like, the way it's shaping up, like, right now... This is just... yeah, it, this, this is so slow. Like, this sister is not dying. And we just lose the DPS to, like, a very obvious mechanic. Alright. And... This is all very mind-melty. I'm not gonna lie. Watching her health go down is just... Agony. Pure agony. I guess this is a good time to improve our rotation skills. Luckily there's no parry anymore in the game. At least not that I'm aware of. Or maybe you can still parry from the back. Like I know that expertise isn't a thing anymore, so you'd have to assume the bosses don't parry. Yeah, they don't actually have a quest. Or do they? Bone of the Tides. That might just be this. Anyway, let's get some people resurrected. Let's go. I'm absolutely gonna pick up Retribution Aura for this dungeon. If they wanna die, sure, I'll take it. Die for me, bitches. But uh, where do we go? I'm very unfamiliar with Cataclysm Dungeons, by the way. I am gonna skip that. Level, 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 level! <laughs> what? Oh, good, we go to the next boss already. Well, that's uh, fortunate. Let's go. Big circle on tank. Alright, we can heal that. That's good, keep that in mind. Big circle on tank. And now he is getting real pissed. Let's give him some hand of sacrifice. Let's keep clapping. Keep clapping and clapping and clapping. Alright, healer's fine. He's got that. I think? Yeah. Oh, that's also a movement slow, Wake of Ashes. Wow. Wake of Ashes does a lot. That's like a... Like a pimped out Holy Wrath, if ever. Okay, that's better. Of course, no axe. Because we will never get lucky. He does seem to have a nice axe. Hmm. I'm going the wrong way. Let's go. Quest time. Oh, there was a quest. Fucking assholes. You know, I, I asked them twice to share it. Take backs. Maybe we can still do uh, Sins of the Sea Witch. Like, if anything, that's one quest, right? It's better than zero. Boss has lots of ads. Make sure you interrupt. Oh. I like info. So, 
I'm glad you gave me that, but uh, yeah, it seemed fine. We got it. Now let's go. Happy to 47. this and there's that well fed as well you see that movement speed mm, lovely I hope we can handle two of these ones all right I'll kill this thing first the fuck is going on here all right can uh, can we stop doing this this is eight all right, we're dead. I think we're right at the entrance, though. So let's go ahead and release real quick. Well, that was fucking eights. We just need to run fast. It's both the tank and the DPS, or the, the tank and the healer alive, so... Let's pop that potion. We lost our wealth at, which is super eights. We can always uh, drink that again. We can use the Lightfoot Potion here now as well. So what is Interesting. That boss is optional. They're going for it anyway, like, I don't know what they're doing, but I'll follow tank. I will see faster than me in stealth. That's fucking bullshit. He should be slower, not faster. Oh, oh, well. They are immune to stun. That's very annoying. Okay. That combo is so fucking eight. I'm just straight up gonna divine shield it. And let's focus down one of them. So that doesn't happen again, that annoying ass combo. Because that's why he really didn't want to pull two of them. But then I came in like, hey, Divine Storm time! And it wasn't a good time. Not at all. Alright, this is fine. We'll just finish him off. There we go. Just got my Light's Judgment back. This is gonna be beautiful. A zap! Big damage, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, oh, two again. That's eight. Tell me that the boss can be skipped, maybe they didn't do. Uh, I think we're already like at the boss. And isn't that like the boss where the quest is from? Like, I'll take a look, but like, I need like Earth's. Speaker something something, and that dude kind of looks like Earth Speaker something something. Like not gonna lie, uh, not gonna lie, he looks very much like Earth Speaker. I can't rest him. I'm not on the DK. This is gonna be tricky. I can't try to keep the tank alive. But what he should be doing right here is kiting towards the healer. Ah, this is annoying. There we go, some healing. There's a big healing. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's unfortunate. Where's the... Where's the healer? Come on already, dude. We need you. Oh, 
Ooh, snap! All right, there's a lay on hands. I mean, Hila is complaining about overtuned bullshit, but like, I remember him standing next to the compound. You know, it just <laughs> it depends how you look at it, I guess. If you squint hard enough, it's overtuned. Not that he's like the most mobile tank in the game. Yeah. Oh, it's it's whatever. We got it. Luckily. All right. So yeah, this is a stone spear person, and I need to rescue him for the quest. So this is actually fine. To be honest, it is overtuned. Oh. Well, it just doesn't seem like a hard fight. Right? It seems like, yeah, maybe it does a little bit, it does a lot of damage, considering most of the things in, in the RDF doesn't do a lot of damage. But it's not something that's really, like, unmanageable in any aspect. And this is probably the fight with the ads as well, so let's keep our eyes out on that, interrupt this. Alright, there's, like, a worm underneath the ground there. Just let him hit, it's fine. He didn't even proc the shield. Shield of vengeance for the win. Oh, that hurts. Alright, we are gonna interrupt. Oh god, we don't have a tank. Alright, well this is GG. They're saying line of sight. So I assume there's something about line of sight there. I didn't feel like I took that much damage though. Except for that one time. And cone in front of the caster. I don't know. I will have to interrupt more. Vengeance over more mobility. Uh, this is damage reduction. I guess we could use that, but we have a second Paladin. Like, can't he use it? Like, I feel like he is using it, so... Won't have to worry about it. Ah, he's gone. That's what they're saying. Alright, whatever. Let's just go. On BF Aidables, but we melted already? Ah, I bet. Like, I didn't really do a lot of stuff in BFA. Not gonna lie, I joined, like, very late, and I felt like, eh, what's the point? But now here we are, struggling because of that exact attitude. Oh, let's go! Are we at the wrong place? I figured go straight forward, but I think we might need to teleport or... Alright, here we are. Good. Good stuff. Lego. I got my CDs. You've got your health, you've got your healer. Go! Alright, fuck it. That's how you go. <laughs> I'll thank it, man. I got Shield of Vengeance. Don't even trip, dog. If he deals damage to me, he's gonna deal damage to him. I could have gotten a lot more AOE damage if that Light's Vengeance hit proper, but it is what it is. I think it's not doing a lot of tanky things here. It's definitely a little bit annoying, but that's fine.
I guess he wanted to pull it out so this wouldn't happen. <laughs> oh, well, already. They don't even give experience. They're not even a threat, are they? I don't think they're a threat either. That's whatever. Pop some CDs. Yes. We should download the Hacky. Or Hackini. I got no idea what that is, dude. That's like saying you should download the Schmur for Warfare in the Verpeter. Like, what is that? I don't know. Same concept. Mythic Plus stuff doesn't melt, and that's why it's standard for retail now. Yeah, and. Like, I really don't like that. You know, I. I like, what's the point of normal? Like, I'm pretty sure I didn't do a single normal RDF or a heroic RDF. So, like, Mythic basically becomes interesting when you start artificially scaling up the difficulty, right? That's when it becomes interesting. If that doesn't show, like, a big red flag to you, then I don't know what does. Because that's a big old red flag. Like, to me anyway, that is just really not so good. Achilles is an add-on for Red Paladins. Oh, rotation. Dude, the day that I will use a like, fucking add-on for Red... Oh, Jesus. Don't get me started, dude. I don't have the brain. I don't have the brain to get started on that right now. No. That's all I'll say. Never. Five EM, Abby. There's no time to sleep. We have to finish this freaking character. Like, seriously, I didn't think it would take this long, but after Sholazar, like, I just don't know an efficient route to level. And this is taking forever. Like, these dungeons are not as fast as I'd like. Like, Ratrich seems okay, but even Ratrich is really not as fast as I'd like. We gotta finish this. There's no more time. But yeah, we. This is this is just a struggle. Times one leveling, ladies and gentlemen. Do you like it? You burning crusade dungeons. I mean, honestly, it will be much better than this garbage right here. All right, we're taking too many stacks of that shit. Uh, we're spreading stacks of that shit. Interesting. That's an issue. Alright, fuck it. We're just gonna go in. Stacks have been reset. Now is the time. Alright. Divine shield. Wait, fuck. Just kill this castle. There we go. And what we could also do is just go to Hellfire Peninsula. Like, honestly, questing there is really good. Um, like, we can take a look at Ratrich. But Burning Crusade timeline seems like a good call. Uh, we gotta finish this bad boy, but I don't really have, like, any cooldowns left for him. Like, some ranged DPS would have been really, really freaking nice here. Okay. Wait, 
Where is this shit? There it is. Okay, like the waters are cleansed or something. The power of pure water, I'll take it. Aqua Pura, I assume. Oh yeah, now we kill this bad boy. Let's go. Oh, there's the last 20k, Jesus. Imagine with the healing hands, that would have been far too much. Go away, octopus. Nobody likes you. Piece of shit. Alright, open please. Thank you, game. I think that was the dungeon. And this dungeon was horrible. Like, really bad. It's really, really bad. Uh... I don't even think we complete a single quest there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Garbage. Really bad. Wouldn't vanilla dungeons be better? Like, the thing is, we need quests. That's what we need. Dungeons by themselves aren't all that impressive. It's all about those freaking quests. We're gonna cheat. That's a lot of Murloc, actually. Oh, there's also a high elite. Maybe that's why it's so hard. Well... If only an add-on could have warned me about that, right? Oops. <laughs> That's fine. Alright, quests are bugged. Interesting. Let me just kill like five Murlocs and we'll uh, we'll swap it to Burning Crusade. I don't think it's a good tactic to keep swapping around, but honestly, like I just don't know where to go at this point. Hellfire seems like a good like a good strategy. We get like a few elite quests there as well. Burning Cosay dungeons have a lot of quests in them. Like one every single one pretty much has five quests in them, so that's very convenient. And I need a weapon. Like god I need a weapon. And you know what place is a weapon? Hellfire Peninsula. What time does Shadowlands come out tomorrow? In like uh, 18 hours and 40 minutes. So it's ink. Burning Cross 8 is the worst expansion to level in for efficiency. Yeah, maybe for the entirety of it. That's a cool looking drake. But I'm pretty sure that like Hellfire, unless they change the shit out of it, which is definitely a thing because Blizzard. Like Hellfire is good leveling. Like I agree that Zangermarsh and Nagant to a lesser extent isn't super efficient. Maybe it's just like the percentage uh, experience that they give. I, I don't know. I just know that the quests are like very compact. Get back here, you fucking fish fuck. Oh. Alright, good. Hellfire is unchanged, Burning Cossade is unchanged. Alright. I just need like one good dungeon or two good dungeons and like a decent questing area like that's all i need right like go to the lakeshire no i'm done with the gnome of order get me out of here this place has definitely been nerfed the vanilla burning crusade is or the vanilla red rich is really good even for Hellfire, it's inefficient. Go finish in Waters of Draenor if you haven't already. No. 
I like I just don't know the route I just don't know the routing from Warriors of the Renner. So Source Me Oh yeah there's that. Also yeah, is there any like good cataclysms? Okay. Oh we can do a random classic dungeon actually. Yo, that might be good. Let's see. Need like three to five burning crusade dungeons, real talk, which will be like two hours max. That two hours is a long fucking time. Like we have already come to a pace where I am like literally upset at the space. Like it's not good. This is not it's bad. This is not fast. We're four hours in, we did like seven levels. It's fucking garbage. But yeah, I guess the last 10 levels should take longer than the previous 30 levels. Still, it feels really slow. So, I don't know, man. If we can get like one good dungeon, two, three quests in there, that'll be an entire level. We don't need that many. You got mail? Yeah, it's just Bowlsmaster. Probably something I tried picking up and couldn't pick up. Fine. Westfall's... Also messed up. Something happened there. But yeah, I'm gonna go set it to Burning Crusade. And... I don't know, I'm just gonna follow my instincts. It's only like two more levels, technically. It's not that bad, we're closing in. On victory! Shouldn't take too long. I hope. Because my mind... It's melting, literally. Yeah, look at that. Pointy slack. Like spider leg. I don't need that. No tea. Alright, Chromie. Get me into the hellfire place. I am prepared, don't you worry. My quest log still bugged. Great. Doing ICC and Warman after that? No. After this, I'm gonna sleep, dude. And then the subscriber run is like closing in. Like it's less than like it's almost like it's basically 12 hours until the subscriber run. Like I, I wish I would have already been done with this shit, but here we are. You are welcome. All right, dude. EP me. Let's go. Because Leo's quests are pretty grisly and bad. I agree. Check PMs. Uh, aha. Uh, T, but no T. It's fine. We'll finish this. Please, no forced flight, Bat. I'm much faster without your Griffin. Good. Dragonblight would be better, but I've already, like, basically done the entirety of Dragonblight. Like, there's, um, there's a few areas left to Dragonblight that I haven't done yet, but they're, they're like, inefficient. I'm just really hoping for a Q-pop. Like, get me into Stockades. <laughs> like, anything that's fast. And then, I don't know, I'll do, like, a few quests, kill these demons. I actually do get bonus experience from killing demons, so if anything, there's that as well. Greetings. Safe travel. That's fine, dude. I appreciate you trying to help, but I'm just gonna ignore you entirely and hope you don't mind it. <laughs> I'm just gonna do what I do, which is meetings. And if I wanted to do this like super efficiently, I would have done research. 
But you know what? It's the first time I level a character here. It's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. Not at all. If this triggers you, too bad, man. Aljul Narup is good. Yeah, you get like several quests as well, but I wasn't lucky enough to, to get it. Like, that's the thing. If we would have gotten good RNG and we didn't get Culling of Stratholm, we would have been a level up at the moment. Or like a level higher, right? Let's go do Legion Reborn. Get that juicy weapon. That's not bad. I'll take that. Right, let's go. We jump in? No, oh, yeah. There's also the fish's fallout right there. That's okay. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Any AoE damage? Yes. Good. Man, this thing has a lot of health as well. <laughs> this is all taking so long now. It is stunnable. What the heck? Alright, good stuff. Let's see if I can stun him as well in a little bit. be dead. Not gonna waste the global cooldown. Okay, lead the way, Mr. Paladin. get like a nice pull. I got cooldowns for days. Like literally all of them. So let's go. Kill the Electrocutioner. Let's do it. That's level 48. Don't see a new spell. But we did get Art of War rank 2. Which I think just improves the chance for it to proc. Which is awesome. I'll take that. Yeah, there it is. Increase proc chance. No, oh, yeah. Two more, yes. I'm assuming we'll be half done, like half experience when we leave this dungeon. So if that's the case, we do one more dungeon. We do like a handful of quests in Hellfire Peninsula, which are gonna be fast because I know exactly like you know the route for them. And then we should be done. Then I am going to go to a bed. <laughs> and when I wake up, we'll do the subscriber hunt. Literally, that's life. But subscriber on should be fun. Like, I have a poll on my Discord right now. Actually, it's in the announcements. You can vote for what you want to see, uh, what you want me, what you want to see me play. Right now, the vote has terrible results, and I don't like it. So let's get the vote. Let's get the poll up in here. So. You can choose Protection, Paladin, Combat Rogue, Disco, Enhancement, Shaman, Shaman Enhancement, and Protection Warrior, and guess what people fucking picked? Protection Warrior, of course. I shouldn't have included it, straight up. So tomorrow we get to play Protection Warrior. Didn't you queue Bionic Crusade? I queued for Classic Dungeon, yeah. 
I had the opportunity to, and I figured that if I get like stockades, that would be big stonks, right? No Ratpala? No. Now Ratpala, I think, is actually saved. It's saved in the uh, in the run with Cookie. We're still gonna finish that run on Tuesday. So Tuesday we're gonna have a bunch of Shadowlands probably, like or a bunch. Like I'm gonna check it out. Like I don't know, dude. I don't wanna anger the migrating gods too much, but we'll be playing Shadowlands on Tuesday for sure. Want to check it out? Day one hype, and uh, and yeah, we'll take it from there. Big AOE damage. Let's go. I vote combat rogue. No oh, thanks, man. Appreciate that. That's better than freaking Protection Warrior. But yeah, a good thing about Protection Warrior is that I do have Fury on the Warrior. So if we get a Protection Paladin off tank, we'll be able to like go Fury on some of the fights and actually have some fun. Right? That's a good thing about it. Gotta follow my own advice. Hey Arby, what do I do if I'm playing Protection Warrior? Uh, I don't know dude, maybe you should roll Fury. Maybe that's gonna help you out a lot more than me giving you tips on protection while here. Yep, thank you Nitro Wave, that's true. You know, we just got like the worst Cataclysm dungeon as well. There's every single other Cataclysm dungeon that I actually like. And then there's the one that's underwater. And we got the underwater one of course. So unfortunate. Hmm. That was kind of a bad uh, rotation right there. Like, that really wasn't so good. Oh, we can interrupt that. Can't interrupt that anymore. Got some mad CDs, yo. I got a mate who's playing arms while in PvE. Yeah, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. And there's even situations where you'll want an arms warrior. If there's no combat rogue, then you need the arms warrior to provide 4%, you know, physical damage in place. Imagine, like, retail people are watching this and then, like, we haven't talked to anything, like, Warmain related, and then suddenly we whip out, like, the Arms Warrior PvE. Oh, it's actually not so bad, guys. Or, uh, like, the Enhancement Shaman. 20% melee haste. What? 20% melee haste? Guys, how do you get that? That's not in the game. It is. Well, it used to be. <laughs> That's nice ring. That's a holy fuck. That's a lot of versatility. What does that even give me? I literally don't know. Let's equip it. Oh, increases damage. A this soundtrack is banger, by the way. This fucking leyland is fine. It's gonna waste some cooldowns. I don't believe our group will need it. I have faith in us. I, rec I would recommend you Omni CD for dungeons. Aha! Uh -huh. I will probably not pick it up. Like, I, I will get some more add-ons for retail. But I'm gonna forget that you recommended that to me. Like, I'm gonna be realistic about this. Because I've said, you know, I, I've told people before, like, yeah, sure, like, I'll remember it, but I literally never remember it, even if I try to remember it. Like, I'm just, I'm just stupid, dude. I'm just stupid. And that's what it is. If you give me a link on Discord, I can take a look at it. Otherwise, I will absolutely forget it. I like, it's not like I'm trying to forget it, but... Yeah.
The glider kit doesn't work when you're inside. Yeah, it's a disappointment. I really enjoy gliding. Alright, that's a good pull. There is some damage. And we've gotten decent experience in this dungeon. Like, just from kills and the quest. That's been okay. No more warming? No, we'll actually, we'll absolutely play on warming again, don't worry about that. But right now, Shadowlands is coming out soon, and this character has to finish leveling. So I need to give it some priority, because I can't do everything at once, like, that's impossible. So I gotta go a little bit hard on this. I think this is combined like 12 hours of leveling already. Like, in between the two days. If these last 10 levels are taking a long time. Much longer than I would have liked. Maybe it's just because you get into that kind of mindset, right? You feel like, oh, I gotta go faster, but then you're actually like just not going faster. So like it's perpetual disappointment in your head, and that just makes it feel so slow. Don't you find Raton Rito boring? No, absolutely not. If you think Raton Rito is boring, then you probably also think it's boring on Rat of Lich King. And at that point, Rat is always boring. Because it doesn't get much better than uh, Rat of the Lich King, I'd say... Like, right now, I'm really enjoying, like, the combo system, as I like to call it, the holy power system. Because you can do some crazy combos with it, right? With the right kind of RNG, which I'm not getting right now at all, you can get some really, like, uh, nice damage out. No, no, I like this. Gotta go fast. Yes, yes. never fast enough. That's one thing that is absolutely true. And... Finish this bad boy. Mount up. And wait for the tank. Okay, that's not completely perfect right there. Starting rotation. Not at all, actually, I'd say, now that I think about it. If we can, like, soak up the bomb damage. Oh, shit. Well, this is fine. If I get hit, like, once or twice, uh, once or twice is enough. Thank you, tank. I don't think tanks are expecting me to taunt in this, uh, in this patch. Not that most of the tanks expect me to taunt on Warmain, but, you know, once you do a few guild runs, people start to notice. They're like, oh, this, this fucking guy is gonna taunt again, huh? Yes, absolutely. Alright, not quite half a level. Not at all, even. Oh no, there it is. Good, that's half a level, sorta. Alright, give me a pet. I don't even know what kind of pets you have, but give me a pet. No, no pet. Uh, T. I mean, I honestly don't mind queuing up with the same people. But, yeah, they're not gonna go for it. Let's get a... F uh, let's get a... Quick weapon from this quest over here. While we queue up for... A random Burning Crusade dungeon. Light Come on, baby. Light Give me that Rage Reaver and make it an epic upgrade. I'd like that. 
got the level 100 marksman, 140 k sitting on retail account. If that was Warlord of Renner, I think those characters are now level 40. Yeah. If it was Legion, I think they're 45. I'm not sure about it. But like my Warlords of Renner character is level 40 at the moment. It's very weird. Oh, gotta go fast! S -s 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 Sonic, let's go! Bell Reaver! What's up, dude? It's been a while. Alright, we need one of those Illidari boys. Yeah! I don't like that crippling effect, not one bit. Probably slowing down my attack speed. And strength reduction by 50%, Jesus. I should have interrupted that. Boop. There we go. I think that's that. No, we need three of these infernals. Is in China, greater than NA, greater than EU. Well, that's really just how you look at it. I really wish I had Holy Wrath here. We're taking a lot of damage. Alright, that's fine. Pop, pop. Alright, big weapon upgrade incoming. China's first on release, then NA and EU last. I have no idea. I know that NA gets it at a much better time than uh, than EU. Like the EU time, it, it's really bad release time. It's like in the middle of the night, like literally. All right, epic upgrade. Nope, just kidding. It's just a shitty fucking weapon. <laughs> Actually, how shitty is that? Jesus Christ. We don't get that agility. Oh my God. Yeah, I don't know if that's actually better. I don't know how, like, highly valued weapon damage is at the moment in the game. That is so bad. Yeah, not everyone gets it at... Like, people do get it at the same time, but the time zones are different, right? But I do think that it gets unlocked at the same time for everyone. Like, that's why it's such a messed up release time for EU. I think that's why, yeah, I think that's why it's so weird. Bopped, boys. Only two? Oh, you're fucking serious. And you are done. Give me two more. Three stones. That's good. Now click it. I think that's all it needs. No. 
inside maybe. Yeah, it's good. Night nighttime on a weekday too. Yeah, it's horrible. It's just not good. All right, let's see if we can get a nice pool. Oh yeah. It's not bad pool. See love quickly. And there's the dungeon. I'm praying for Hellfire Ramparts. Like straight up, Ramparts would be so good right now. Single stone, literally. We don't have enough stones. Oh my god. Can we get worse RNG? Can this get any worse? There, This is like literally Violet Hold on steroids. Fuck off. Wait, they're at 12.8. At 12.18. Okay. It's not as bad as I thought, but that is... Jesus, if they restart it, I'm done. I'm outie. Straight up out of here. Medivh's shield is like going down hard. I don't know if we can stop that. I got you fam. Oh my god, what did the fuck did they do? Better question, what didn't they do? Don't mind me just casually saving your fucking disaster dungeon. I'm pretty sure you can't let that die, right? Like, the, the entire dungeon just resets. I think that's how it worked. Alright, well, boss is already at 10%, so they're doing good damage at least. Yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that if I didn't go kill those adds, then... Oh, he just got a nice transmog. If we didn't go ahead and kill those adds, then, like, I'm pretty sure we would have lost this straight up. Oh boy, I almost got wrecked there. Can we stop? Yeah, good job, mage. I did this last week for the bow. Oh yeah. I, I remember like talking with somebody about going here uh, for a transmog. I'm not sure if it was the bow though. Soundtrack is actually pretty kick ass here. I like it. It's got nice vibe. You should go Horde. All the cool kids play Horde. Osmond Gold doesn't play Horde, and he's the coolest of them all. He's so cool, he, came ba he became bald because, like, God knew that he needed weakness. So, yeah. Are you done with Wotluck? Nah. We're gonna play Wotluck, don't worry. 
Just because we play Doom doesn't mean we don't like Quake, right? I still very much like Quake, just right now I'm feeling like doing some Doom, because we need to. We have to be level 50 before tomorrow, because tomorrow Shadowland comes out, and that is it. Hey, this is Nick from Vaisa. We noticed an issue with your account. Please slide right into my DMs. Did you donate again, Nick? <laughs> Did you buy another 17 Shadowborns? And 5 Audis and 17 Louis Vuitton bags. Yeah, honestly, a little bit of weed is fine, but crack cocaine is where I draw the line. Okay, that was a waste of a button. Alright, how do we get ourselves out of this mess? Alright, we don't get out of it by using Divine Storm, that's for damn sure. Break the shield, or the stun rather. Help the heal a little bit. Okay, that's good. Unlocked Hammer of Wrath right on time because I didn't have a global cooldown remaining right there. And we're gonna combo him. Bop, bop, judgment, and he's done. Alright, you know what? That wasn't too bad. That wasn't so bad. I honestly didn't see it was 12 out of 18. Uh, that was pretty okay. Let's see if we can get a little bit of quest progress done. Uh, right, we're in the middle of a war zone. I forgot. Like literally one dungeon one good dungeon did they reset when I went in no I just got unlucky let's go make me less unlucky wrath guard you're gonna drop the stone that I need and want in my life and you know it oh damn it Stone? Yes. I almost at max level? Yeah, we need like one entire bar of experience basically. Um, we're getting real close. Right now we're searching for a tank. One good dungeon. That'll, uh, that'll do us in. Um, yeah, sure. Get the helmet. Ah, yikes. Whatever, let's just do it fast. Do it fast. Wing Commander. Wing Commander! Alright, where's my bombs at? There we have it. I'm gonna toss these bombs on some demon gates. Why did Warman change the Blood Prince Council ads? Because this is more retail-like, the way it is right now. So it's a fix. 
Yeah, believe it or not. It was broken for a little bit, but you noticed Warmain fixed it within a week, right? Within a week. That's not bad. Like, literally, for a private server, like, I keep saying it. It's not bad. Like, Warmain does a good job in general. And you can't expect them to just, like, fix it, right? If something breaks, they're aware of it. Trust me, like, they'll get spam they'll get spammed in tickets. They'll get spammed in website tickets. They'll get spammed everywhere. You just need to have a little bit of a patience. You can't expect them to just magically wave a wand and then all the bugs are gone. Yeah, the one pack pool was horrible. It killed so many bugs. That's what I heard anyway, of course. Whenever I was there, it went all right. Yeah, it's good. One more level to go. Let's do it. Come on. Let's do it. Worst case scenario, we do like a lot of quests. There is some good quests coming up. Like honestly, this isn't the best area for quests. Um, I don't think we should go there. My quest log still bugged out. I'll do a reload, maybe that will fix it. Hey, there we go. So yeah, Shadow Point, we are not gonna do that. We are gonna quickly do Zedcore Must Burn. Like with a flying mount, it, it, it's pretty nice. You just fly over it real quickly. Drop a few barrels. Good stuff. There's one. Thing is, Warming basically has no in-game support. There was a time where they did. I remember making a ticket like in 2012 or 11. I made a ticket and it said, Oh my god, I don't know what to change my name into. And then I gave the GM a couple of options. And he helped me pick a name. I'm gonna say that name because that was one hella shameful name. I, I was 10. Right? Or something like that. Like 12. Like a stupid young kid. But basically, Warmain, when they had the resources, they were very nice in the tickets. But now there's just too many people, like, they can't keep up. And it doesn't surprise me at all that they can't keep up. 12k people online at peak times. Like, how many more are in the queue? Like, two, three thousand? How many more are, you know, like, just not logging in because they know they won't get in the game if the queue is too big? And yes, Nick, you just got fucked by a GM and banned for like two months for no reason. But they generally do a good job. <laughs> generally. Oh, oh no. Please don't. Rude ass bitch. I'm gonna blow up your tower. That's an official Blizzard server? Yes, this is an official Blizzard server. Just checked on my level 47 Warlock, bonus objective in Dreadnought give 12.3k experience each. I mean, I'm one level away, at this point I'm not gonna swap it again. But, yeah, I know there's better ways of doing it. People have been telling me the entire time. Um, the route that I had in Sholazar, if anything, I feel like that was pretty decent. Like, going from 10 to 40... That was fast, but right now I just don't have a plan, and without a plan, everything falls to shit. It just goes to show. <laughs> Nick got banned for being a ninja. So, what happened is, he went to Fospos Heroic, and he is a best in slot Retribution Paladin with Shadowmourne, right? But Nick accidentally pressed Need on Garton's 2-ton Frost Hammer. Or Gar Frost's 2-ton Frost Hammer. This dude made a screenshot and he reported Nick and he got wrecked. He just got his entire account deleted. Uh, he was suspended for 17 million years. It is not a good time. 
No, that didn't actually happen. <sighs> At least there's quest. Four quests. Okay. I mean, one of these quests is bound to be like super shit experience. Uh, that's 6k. That's 6k. That's 6k. A whole bunch of 6k's. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, this Nick dude, he saw me do arenas. You know, I was at like 1.5k rating, so Nick had to go get a boost so he could keep up. I feel like these mobs are dying a little bit quicker than the ones in the previous dungeon. How many amounts do you have right now? I don't know. I think there's a total that shows somewhere. 83 entire mounts! Wow! So good! We'll get more, don't worry. Just not yet. Let's go! Send in my Zappy Cannon. Do some Divine Storms. Have a good day and survive. Yes. I feel like the tank is AFK. It's a protection wire, of course. The 83 number is fake. Well, 5 plus 5 minus. It's not going to be a big difference. <laughs> I haven't gotten to collecting yet. Oh yeah, the tank is actually completely AFK. I wasn't being sarcastic, he's just entirely AFK. Uh, I'm gonna do a quest. What kind of music do you like? Uh, video game music isn't so bad. Okay, he just came back. Well, it's not like I only listen to video game music, but I will default to video game music if I just need something for, like, the background. Banyo Tui soundtrack. Mwah! Magnifique. I slipped on something. Interesting. Um, Donkey Kong Country 2. Like, you know, all your basic video game musics. I'll listen to that shit all the time. And then you got... Uh, you know, there's some Metallica as well. Some Sabaton. I like some of that hipster stuff too. Weekend, Blinding Lights, Starboy. Uh, I like classical music as well. Mozart, Beethoven, Edvard Grieg. Very, very nice. Donkey Kong 64, yes. And we're finally here. Performing for you, if you know the words you can join in to Put your hands together and start the clap For this monkey rap, hey go DK ch -ch 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 Donkey Kong <laughs> Oh Jesus You have to loot for the quest items? It's okay I will loot all of them I got all the quest items. What was the name of the Dunkin opening music? Uh, Lufia 2, Start of a Journey. Also, Lufia 2's soundtrack is freaking godlike. If you wanna have like some really good video game music, like right now, what you do is you uh, go to the YouTube search bar and you check. Um, Lufia 2, Sinistral Battle Theme Song cover by Toxic Eternity. That guy covered it so brilliantly. Having come with the DK on warming? Question mark? Which DK? I have two. <laughs> uh, what's your opinion on DKs and endgame content in general? They're good, they're necessary. Like, they're good because you need that 20% melee haste, and if there's no enhancement shaman, you need it from a DK, right? Plus DK or a blood DK tank. 
Unholy, 13% magical damage increase in area of effect. It's a game changer. It's evading. Great. If you have your Unholy Decay Pestilence, the Blood Beasts, every single time, that's big stonks. Like, that's a lot of damage. 13% magical damage on the Valkyrs. You absolutely need that. Like, DKs are super good. Alright, I can dispel all the stacks of that debuff in one go. It's good stuff. We are getting, we are absolutely getting clapped by a level 12 warrior though. Or 16. Well, there's that. You know what Avi needs? Tier 9 to get to level... Yeah, I could use another T, like not gonna lie. Oh wow, Transmog in the house. Straight up massive Transmog. I think that's like the tier... Why am I still dying? Please, stop die. This is like some Transmog shit right here. And I will take it. We're gonna taunt one of these, like, small shits, just so that we can deal some damage with eye for an eye. So much. Such a play. And the thing is ugly. I don't like the set myself, but it's a very, very, very common uh, transmog among paladins. Like, they get... I think it's a tier 2. Not so certain. But yeah, let's go boys. We have stuff to do. Bitches to kill. AIs to conquer. Let's get it. Oh, the mob is ugly. Yeah, they're, they're decently ugly. I, I must agree. They're definitely not very charming. And their fingers are very long. Big ball. But yeah, how much more percent do we need? 80%. Let's get it. There's the speed up. From the food. I love it. That's good food. But it seems like you need to get the killing blow for the food to activate. Based on like my one sample size right there. Yeah, you need to get the killing blow. Which makes sense. In PvP this would have been really broken if it was on assist. That just wouldn't have worked out. I'm just gonna pull that. Because I know what's coming. Ah, oh, come on, don't run. I pulled them for a reason, dude. Uh oh, you're dead. Alright, there's the Leon Hands. That's the Divine Shield. Alright. I got us into the mess, and I think I can say I got us out of the mess as well. So there's that. Definitely speeds up the process a bit though. Three packs at once, some good stuff. I mean, what's a what's an underbog dungeon without struggling on that specific pack of mobs?
There we go. Oh, keep that boy alive. I can't dispel magic. I don't like that. It's so nice leveling with an enhancement shaman that can just like dispel magic. Like, honestly, enhancement shaman red paladin is such a nice coverage. You will hit level 50 here. Let's freaking hope so. I wouldn't mind that one bit, you know that? I would gladly accept that and put it right into the bank. And have it make me rent. Like that's literally what's gonna happen. Major OP again? I heard Elemental Shaman is OP? No, 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 bro, it's DK. Blood DK DPS. That's OP. The OP is of them all. Interrupt, please. T, T, T. We're not getting bad experience for these dungeons. Like, straight up. It's not bad. We got four quests to deliver as well. Oh, just go in, dude. I want an AoE. I guess it's safer. Go, let's pop. Taking some physical damage here. Oh no. Alright. Die? No? Okay. Well, it is what it is. The little Nomi boy needs our help. Can we just pull the boss here? Nah, it's gonna be a mess. That's not. He might need some mana as well. I don't know how he's doing on that, or if that's even like an issue for him at all. Oh, it's a good thing I'm not going to be a subtlety rogue. I don't want to be broken. I want a perfectly balanced character. Huh? I thought he died. Did he just scam me? Or did I scam him? That is good. Now are we poisoned? We are, but it's okay. Now we just need to go and do that beer thingy and grab the brain of the Black Stalker. Erase his name, by the way. Do you need to be level 50 to play Shadowlands? I assume so, yeah. Hey, it works on freaking critters! I am digging this food more and more. Oh, that's... that's good. They found them. Everyone says Red Paladin's OP, but uh, Warrior DK with Shadowmourne is even more OP, actually. Red Paladin's only OP because the expansion allows you to be OP. Like, everything is, is, a, is an undead. That really helps. Like, even that 1% damage increase from your minor glyph, without that, you would have been 1% weaker, right? 1% on 10k is like 10 which if you do a whole bunch of 10k damages then that 10 suddenly becomes like 50 or something like it's crazy how numbers work sometimes oh fuck off with this fear not when i pop the wings
Good stuff. Let's go fast. Hey, Biss Raptor Paladin. Uh, can one shot me at 5.4k gear score though? Yeah, like the thing is, Rattri can burst really hard. Like that's what well, that's what their kit is built for. But if you allow an arms warrior, like a good arms warrior with a shadow Morn, to sit on you for five seconds, you're gonna be equally as dead. Like so, I guess like the whole thing that Paladins is OP, it kind of stems from the fact that they can burst hard, right? 10% is 100. I hope so. I don't mind being wrong in math. I think it's a good thing if I'm wrong. Because that means that the world is probably right about it. And that's good for us. As a human. Society. Dude, I love this priest just dispelling me ASAP. Good shit. That is a zom, a good a shit. Let's go! We're pulling them all! Let's do it! And then I get feared. And again. And again. Alright, 33%. We are one third of the way in our final le in our final level. Can we CC Claw? No, he's immune. very bad. Somebody resurrected the tank though, somehow. Okay. Can we, can we please just use the fucking spell? Mm. Okay. Where do they spawn? Because I could maybe make it a bit closer to their spawn. But I don't think they spawn in this direction. He's immune to my stun, that's inconvenient. Um, do I just die? Yeah, I don't think there's anything for me to do but just die. Just run past! Nope, that's not working. That is a long fucking graveyard walk, Jesus Christ. It can never be easy, can it? much to do like repentance i don't think it has any value here like the giant being pulled it sucks like that really sucked like we could have maybe done something about it but then the giant yeah the giant just like finished us off with him there it wasn't a good time also the healer can't uh, really keep the tank alive so i'll tell him i'll help with healing Like, I could just go for full Word of Glory spam. That's gonna kill my DPS though, because it's gonna get rid of all the Templar's Verdicts. And they kind of hurt. I got some nice crits sometimes. But yeah. I think we have to help with healing. There's no other way. Tank is very squish. Oh, 
41%. What I'm gonna do after this dungeon, if I don't level up, which there's a chance that I will level up because the, the completion bonus is pretty massive. If I don't level up, that's 40k. I don't think I'll level up. No. What I'll do is I'll queue up. If I get Ramparts or like some other dungeon that's good, I'll do it. If I don't, then I'll complete it with quests. The quests that are coming up are actually pretty good. Like Fell Orc Savages, Salvage Wood, that's a nice combination of quests. You can get Unyielding Souls, just like do a few pulls and you'll have that done as well. Yeah, we can get rid of this. Sea Witch as well. Tank is level 17, so I don't think he has a lot of that. <sighs> but it's fine, we'll figure out a way. Like, I could have used Hand of Sacrifice on him, like, way earlier as well. It would have been good. In fact, let's go ahead and put it like this. It'll be easier for my muscle memory to remember. Good stuff. I can still burst, like, 15-20k or so with Wings and Shadow's Edge and two stuns. Still, one spell with Shadow Morn proc does more damage than my full burst. It does hurt, but consistent damage, arms is always gonna be beating a red in terms of PvP. Like you can't, you can't. You really can't like stop a warrior. Once he's on a target, he's on a target. He's not gonna let go. I think it's good that we're clearing this right now. If he's dead, there's no chance to pull him, right? So I don't mind this. We're gonna have to pull and clear this guy anyway. He just totally ganked us in our last attempt, which was hella gay. I could also just Kite Claw. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna Kite Claw. Just stop, dude. Alright. Maybe I should have kited him all this time. I don't know. Like, I could have done a better job at kiting him as well. I think I could have indefinitely kited him. If I did it correctly. Unholy DK is more of a problem for me. Actually beat most of the warriors. DK and any tank really. Spell reduction is insane. Yeah, DKs are also just really strong against spellcasters. Like, they really hard counter spellcasters. There's a nice flower, but he's sitting on top of it. The greedy asshole. I don't like him. I don't like him. Actually leveling a Fury Warrior at the moment. Are you leveling... Excuse me, are you leveling as Fury? Because you should be leveling as anything but Fury. Thought is good. Or, uh, arms is good, but pot is better. Fury is really subpar for leveling. Glyph of Bloodthirst helps a lot, but it's just not enough, I think. Overpower in single target situations as arms is just so overpowering. And then there's protection, which is insane. Mm. 
boop. All right, Black Stalker, time for you to get a rename. Nobody likes stalkers. Oh, really? You're gonna you're gonna zap me away, huh? Well, I'm just gonna be a floating Alec then. I don't even care about your money problems. Of course. Just pick on the Light Forge Drenai again, huh? Finish this boy off. And that's not a level. But there is a two set bonus. <laughs> and once again, it's a decent transmog item. Yeah, I'll take that. Two sockets for 12 haste. I don't have anything to fill the sockets with, so... I won't use it for now. It's barely missing, to be honest, with the wolf pack. If you go for the leather gear while you're leveling a Fury Warrior, I guess you're not gonna have any hit rating issues, at least. Farewell. But if you take, like, um, anything else than the leather gear, then it's gonna be... I assume it's gonna be an issue. Because, uh, yeah, the way that two-handed... Or like one-handers work, right? Alright, let's queue up one more time. If we get Ramparts, that'll be perfect. If we get anything else but Ramparts... Well, I might just like drop the group and finish it off with leveling. Because we're really close at the moment. Attacking agility at the moment, 60% crit. Okay, that's not bad indeed. I right, come with me. Let's go ahead and cheat. Get rid of all those diseases. Things are getting a bit rough while we're leveling. We can't really take that many mobs at once anymore. Bit of a shame. If then agilities were lost, yep. And diminishing returns and everything. Also a thing. Honestly, I think we're just gonna kill stuff and then we'll level up. Like 30k away. That's not too far. Line of sight him, get him included. There he is. A bit late on the interrupt, that's okay. Just gotta finish this entire character right here, right now. Honestly, I need to go to bed. <laughs> Feels yesterday. 81%. We're not gonna fight Tagar. No way, man. No way, man. Uh, we'll heal up quickly. Oh, 
Yeah, look at him run. Fucking pussies. Bop. Alright, please, ramparts. Please, ramparts. I'll take it. It's not that long, actually. It's not that long of a dungeon. It's not that bad. Hellfire music? Yes, it's really good. I know, man. RBA is now the leader of the group. Alright, let's... Let's do... Oh, we're not in the raid group. Right. Alright, boys. Let's do it. I'm just taking the left side. <laughs> but I guess right side is... Fine. Until it really isn't. Holy shit, look at all the garbage spawning. Okay, that's a divine shield right there. Interesting pool. Yeah. I should use Shield of the Templar or whatever it's called actually. Okay. Fine guys, it's not that long, it's not that bad. And then thanks just does the most fucking retarded pull I've ever seen. Right into the middle. Stick to the left, please. I'd call him names, but I honestly don't have energy for it. Just woke up. Thank you for not yelling on stream. Sleep friendly stream. Uh, thanks, that's not a compliment. <laughs> no, but I'm glad you're awake, dude. And I hope you're gonna have just a wonderful day. Did you know that the uh, road in Hellfire Path Glory is made out of Drenai bones? I know, it so sucks. I don't like it. I think it's really rude and they should like give our bones back. No, Game of Thrones style. Someone dies, you, you give the bones back. I think that's just a very respectful thing to do. Bop! Big Divine Storm. Bop! Yet again. But yeah, I, 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 once, fell, I once fell asleep watching uh, Tyler 1. I didn't stay asleep long. <laughs> like, I love Tyler 1, but man. What a character, huh? <laughs> I had the same thing with Trick 2G. He was getting way too excited about doing Udir things. And he just started like shouting. I think maybe it was even Nossus. I don't remember, but like he started shouting and I woke up and I was like, bruh. Bruh, come on. But then again, I'm basically falling asleep myself, so there's that. Zoom zoom, hey Harrison, how you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day, man. We're almost level 50, guys! 15%. Oh, he is going in. Pops. And there we go. Just three more sneaker bars. Yeah, let's get it. Man, I could use a sneaker. Like a nice pick me up. I haven't had any water or any tea in like three hours. This hurts my soul. A 
Well, somebody just leveled up. But it wasn't me. Yet. But the dungeon completion should absolutely level me up at this point. And there's only like two or three more rooms until we're done. Like, this dungeon really isn't that bad. It's very compact. Which generally makes for, you know, fast dungeon. Unless you're talking by default. That's not so good. I'll probably use the BFA. True. Yeah. Those crazy pulls. Also, who really knows tactics for Alcanite Crypts? I, I wouldn't say it's common to know the tactics here. You know, so... Like, that's why I don't really get upset. <laughs> but there's no need to point out that that pull that he made was, like, insane. And we should probably try uh, handling with a little bit more care next time, right? There's no point in point... There's no point in pointing it out. Because he knows. If I were to be like, bro, that was a really bad pull. You are a bad tank. Like, that wouldn't have helped the situation. Like, he can see that clearly. He understands that that, uh, that, that was a mess. I hope. But if he doesn't, then there's an issue. Big root. Alright, let's see how these things function in retail. These, like, essence of torments. These things. Alright, they function the same. But he's unaware of it. And he does not get one-shot by them. So they're a little bit different. On Barmain, they all straight up one-shot you. Hey Esteban, how you doing? Hope you have a wonderful day, mate. Pop! Oh, he just pulled the boss. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Because this boss is a little bit scary. Especially if you've got this much... Well, it's actually better to have melee DPS in this fight. As opposed to ranged DPS. So you see that flare effect? You want to get out of it. And they brightened it way up. On, uh... In Red of Lich King, that's not that bright. Alright, I want to see if I can just line of sight the healer here. Keep myself alive. Okay, that flash of light is not allowing me to keep myself alive. Not one bit. I forgot about the casting speed reduction. Like, this is such a freaky... Such a... Such a fucky fight, dude. I've already used the Divine Shield here. That's a bit of a shame. But we'll have to heal the tank here with the Leon Hands. Alright, just gonna get rid of my... Oh, Jesus. Jesus, I don't think I can tank this, not one bit. Like, the problem is also this carniv uh, carnivorous bite. Or carnivorous bite. Like, you need to line of sight him to reset that. And the tank movement was not very good. It didn't really allow for that. Just let me reset the damn stacks, you monster. Alright, well, stacks are reset. Thanks for the potions again. Saved my ass here.
Any kind of cooldown. Any kind of cooldown. Like anything. I fucking hate this dungeon. I just woke up from work and Obby is streaming. Oh yeah. That wasn't a hard carry. Like, I was so stressed. Nah, man. I didn't even use Hand of Sacrifice. Now that was, that was, like, I could have used Potion as well. It was very stressful, but we did it. Somehow I managed to reset that Carnivorous Bite. Maybe it just goes to 4, and then it resets itself. I don't know. But, um... Oh, what a mess. It's not an easy dungeon. It's short, it's sweet, because it's actually pretty difficult. But it's not uh, the easiest, no. Burning Crusade will just uppercut you with like all the mechanics sometimes. That's one of those situations. We've got these angry bony boys. But they're no match for us. Ooh, Paladin of the Light. And we are about to destroy their entire, entire life. Just a little bit longer here. Oh no! What a mess, huh? Again? We got some cooldowns left. And yeah! Oh. Kill steal. Where's Arthas when you need him? AFK is sitting his ass on some kind of frozen throne. Alright, two bars. We got this, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. Thoughts on the loot system, Botluck to retail? I prefer Botluck. I actually don't like personal loot. I think it takes away um, some aspect of the game. And I don't... I, on, on some parts, it's fine to have personal loot. Because... You do gear a little bit faster. Like having to rely on the boss. Like you got 25 people in the raid, right? Five groups of like five people. Got 25 people in the raid. Three items drop. That's really bad. Like usually if you have personalized loot, you're gonna get like five, six, maybe seven, maybe even more items. Let's see, how many people do we have? Oh, no, no, he's ink. Let's go. I haven't used this all that many times. Flipping to the wall. Perfect. Here comes the pain. Boom. Good stuff. Good stuff in diddly diddly. Nice crit. We finish him off with a nice hammer. There we go. Way more RNG on retail with gear, at least on what luck the item drops that you need, you'll get the stats you need. And that's also the thing, right? Um, if you think about looting systems, like... Um, like, Wrath of the Lich King 
you can get one item and that's it. You get Lonzo, High Blade, the Enforcer, GG, best in slot, that's it. But now, I actually, mm, never mind, I, I literally don't know enough about retail at the moment to say anything about this. Like, I thought I knew something, but I'm not sure about it, so, just never mind. These things on Warmain will, like, literally rip your asshole out of your skin, if you're not careful. So let's see how much damage they do here. Okay, that's bad. That's manageable. I don't think he's getting clapped as hard as he would on, on Warmain. Ah, that's fine. It's not even bad. Alright, there's the dude, Exarch, Maladar. We kill him, we're level 50. Hammer to ass. Go. Next pull. Come here, baby boy. I'ma clap them cheeks. There's that. I love that damage. Good. Let's go. this pack as well. I'm pretty sure the boss pulls if you go uh, like not all the packs. And yes, I want to get this over with so I'm ninja pulling. Sue me. It's fine. I'm a paladin. I can take it. Also, look how fast he's pulling this now. It's perfect. Oh, that man just got nuked. Wow. Okay, let's try to keep everybody on like 90% health at least. Alright, I'm feared, not good. One shot, dude! What are we gonna do about that? Is that interruptible? Like, I, I'm like literally too tired to notice if it's interruptible or not. I'm assuming it's my turn next, let's get the shield up. not interruptible. It's called Stolen Soul. I don't know why he does it. I don't know what's up with that. I could probably LOS it, but it's such a fast cast. I don't think there's a chance for me to LOS that. This close to using Divine Shield. Not that it would have mattered. Alright, how do we deal with this? Rips the target soul from the body. The dark side of the soul. Inflicts damage. Like, Ribbon of Souls is even a lot of damage. Is this bugged? They're saying interrupt, but I know that that's not interruptible. Like, I double checked. Please level me up, please level me up, please level me up. Itch. I need to I need to repair real quick. What the Lightforge Renai ratio? I'll show it right now. So, it's like, check this, right? Light's Judgment. See that line up there? Boom. 
Now that absolutely one shot things. Uh, when I was leveling, not so much anymore. But Dobby, you're still leveling. Oh no, semantics. I don't know how to deal with that. Anyone have an idea? Like, I'm just trying to repair my gloves right now and I'll go back in. But, um... How the heck do we deal with that? Couldn't interrupt it. Line of sighting it would be like damn near impossible. Divine Shield isn't really an answer. Like sure, once, and only for me. But the rest of the group needs to know as well. Okay. I could just say fuck it. Like, that felt bugged. Exarch, Malara, inflict shadow damage from scone target. Nah, that wasn't that. That didn't kill me. I could just complete this quest right here and be done. Like, we're close enough at this point. Can I repair here, please? Like, I don't want to ditch on my group, though. It's not interruptible. I just don't know. I'm stumped. Let's kill three orcs before we head back in. Because they seem to be doing something as well. I don't think they're ready just yet. Alright, we got some extra bitches in. That's fine. Go for one more Drenai ratio. Let's do it! Big zap! Boop! Like, it is still good damage. Oh, Wake actually did more? Wow. You're almost there, man! I know. Like, literally, if I deliver this quest, I'm done. Or if I kill this mob. Wait. Okay, never mind. Let's finish it off with the dungeon, though. I feel bad ditching. Uh, I'm popping... Uh, I am 100% popping this potion. One more mob? Yes, it has to be Exarch Maladar. I've set another arbitrary challenge for myself. Hey guys, I want to go to bed, said two, two hours ago me. Then he didn't go to bed. Oh no. What are they doing? Are they dueling? No. Guess they're killing some spook. How's your headache? Well, it's still here, but... Like, that's the thing. I can deal with the headache, but, like, I just need to do the absolute minimum. And then it's fine. And Juba X, thank you for the sub. I do appreciate that, mate. I could have been done due to that quest. But, uh... Yeah, it's alright. It's not as bad as when I started, actually. So, you know, people are saying, like, Abby, you play too much PC games. Looking at the screen is bad for your eyeballs, which is causing your headache. No, absolutely not. It's actually better now relative to how it was when I started. Do Draenei no longer have Naru? Uh, the regular Draenei do, and it's actually much stronger. But I'm Lightforged at the moment, so it's like a specific, like, special race. You have you have Draenei and you have uh, Lightforged Draenei, and we get Light Reckoning, which if I die. Well, I explode, and Light's Judgment, which is the Zappy Beam that I really, really love. 
And also Forge of Light, but who really gives a fuck? It's just... I guess it's there, if you need it. Now you'll stay for eternity. Are they trying without me? Do I just ditch? I feel like they're also not trying that hard. Uh, uh, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move. That's a pro gamer move right there. They're probably gonna say to each other, wow, that guy was, we just got styled upon. Oof. All right, RP walk. Sure, why not? Small RP walk. All right, there we go. Boop, and level 50. Magni, I swear, stop. Just don't talk. Yeah, that that cope is fine. They, they can handle it with somebody else. Then Avenging Wrath, each Betras causes you to explode with holy light. I don't like that. Executioner sentence and final reckoning seems like big burst. Anyway, let's get out of here. Welcome. Oh no, stop. And let's go. Grats. Thanks, guys. Uh, we, we, we did grind it up. Decently fast. Almost. Oh. Oh, we get a free quest. For the Vindicar. And we get another free quest. Okay. All right, thanks guys. Um, yeah, we'll keep the character here. I think this is the last time that you're ever gonna see BFA on this channel. So let's say goodbye to BFA in a very non-ceremonial way by logging out on top of this flat rooftop. Literally, who does this? Why have a flat rooftop? Wait, I have a flat rooftop. Never mind. Go to bed. Yes. Tomorrow is the big race. I'm not gonna like race that much. Nah, I'm just gonna see what's up in uh, Shadowlands and we'll take uh, our first steps towards, you know, getting to max level. Like leveling is the thing that we're gonna have to be doing on Shadowlands first of all, right? Anyway, goodbye BFA. It was alright. 6 out of 10. Alright, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Also, yeah, subscriber run. Woo, hype. Good night.